It's time to hack the movies. Today, we're talking about tapes. Talking about tapes. Hello, Joe, and hello, Crystal. Hi. Hi, Tony. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I, I like don't. this. For those listening and not watching, I have a big Jason Part 7 mask, and, it's, <laughs> and Joe brought in a Jason Part 7 toy, and it's just completely blocking Crystal. <laughs> hello. <laughs> it's that time of year again. It's a Friday the 13th week. Woo! It's my favorite holiday. I love it. Yes. I love yes. It. And of course, this is coming out the Thursday, the day before, much like last year. Uh, but yes, we are excited. Oh, much like last year, I'm going to a wedding on Friday the 13th. Are you Again? really? Yeah. You my mean, sister did it last year. Now my cousin is getting married on Friday the 13th. <laughs> you tell you tell everybody to watch this episode while you're there. Yes. There I'm going to go around. <laughs> Hand out pamphlets yeah. or something. Yes. Uh, but yes, it's Friday the 13th. And as always, we Ugh. do three movies in the franchise. We are up to seven, eight, and nine. This, uh, all right. So the first one, I think we called the, uh, the Jason Finds His Mask trilogy. You know, he was really trying to figure out. We got his backstory, and then he was trying to find himself. You know, he was imitating the killer from uh, the town that feared uh, Dreaded Sundown. Uh, and then he found yeah. his own identity okay. with yeah. the hockey mask. Mm -hmm. And then the next three, four, five, and six, are the Jarvis trilogy. Yes. Yep. They follow the exploits of Jarvis. And I see you have a Roy Burns I mask. do. I have my Roy boy yeah, you uh, do. shirt on. We're not covering that one. It's okay. I'm I'm <laughs> upset that I didn't get to talk about that one. So I, that's my little thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, um, yes, and uh, this week we're doing the what would we call this trilogy? The, this is the we're out of this ideas. Is, yeah, I would trilogy? say zombie. This is the I wanted to be Freddy versus Jason trilogy. Well, quad yes, trilogy, this really yeah. is the we're not ready to do Freddy versus Jason yet. Bad trilogy. lightning and electricity trilogy. <laughs> Holy shit! So this is the, all three of these well, oh, were, you can were call to fill time until they could do Freddy versus Jason. We could also call it the Kane trilogy. It's really, the, again, the, the Kane quadrilogy. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I like the we're out of ideas trilogy personally. <laughs> How do you run out of ideas? Well, they apparently did. They're well, bringing in telekinesis and <laughs> we'll talk <about> body jumping <laughs> worms. Uh, but first off, I just want to say how much I love our fans. Yeah. I love our fans. You love your fans? I love all the dumpster dwellers out there. I love you. And I also love all the hack offs, too. Yes. Are these the names of them? Oh, you know, all our know. fans, movie dumpster fans, are the dumpster dwellers. Yeah. I did not know that. Oh, like two years ago, before the show even took off, I did a poll asking what the hack movies fans should be, and <laughs> hack offs won by a substantial margin. I like the hack offs. I did not know that. Yeah, I rarely say it, but yes, you I love the know. hack offs. You guys keep us Sorry, going. Guys. I want to thank everyone. <laughs> and uh, this is a big month. We have the Friday the 13th. Yeah. Uh, we got a lot I of stuff. I think we're putting out a uh, What's the Worst Star Wars episode. Oh. Okay. And we've got Alien 3 Week coming woo, up. Woo. There you go. We are doing the theatrical that. cut. We are doing the assembly cut. And on Patreon, we're going to do the uh, William Gibson unreleased screenplay that Joe thinks is good for some reason. I thought it was good. <laughs> is that the audio book with Lance and yeah. Michael Bean? Okay. It was well produced. The <laughs> story's garbage. But anyway, oh. I just love our fans. And one fan in particular, uh, they, they work with my father. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, my dad was saying how his son does the YouTube. Oh. And his friend Matt Austin goes, what's their channel? And he says, hack the movies. He's like, oh, I love hack the movies. Crystal's so great. Yay! She's my favorite. And then she just <laughs> he just continued to apparently talk about Crystal and how great she was. Mm. I love it. There's a shout out, Matt. Hey, Matt. Say you're awesome. say thank you to my dad for getting me to do this <laughs> yeah, shout you're out. Great. Do you I get, love it. Do you get free steaks or something now? I better. <laughs> yeah. Can well, I my dad works with him, so I should be getting. <laughs> hey, Matt, hook me up with some meat. Um, <laughs> five pounds of veal. <laughs> but no, seriously, I love all the fans. You guys, we just guys did a amazing. mailbag before this, so I'm very sentimental. And I love meeting people in person. I met someone at my local store and they're like, you're Tony Frank movies. Like I sure am. Let's talk. <laughs> uh, but yes, let's get into this Friday the 13th trilogy. First up, Friday the 13th, part seven, The New Blood. Joe, would you like to read the back of the box? I, love, I sure would. I love how you read the back of Thank the box. Thank you. I do read it really well. Yes, please okay. read, read. Are you going to read it with emotion? Of course. No. Thank you. Over-exaggerated. Uh, As you should. I don't even know what. <laughs> Charisma? Spunk? <laughs> Exuberance? Yes. Here we go. All the words. Ever since the homicidal maniac Jason Voorhees got trapped in the chains at the bottom of Crystal Lake, the nearby summer camp has operated without a hitch. 
ellipses. Without a murder. <laughs> Wait, there's no summer camp in the middle. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I, I, could, I almost read it as Camp Crystal Lake, but it just says Crystal Lake. Yeah. Uh, but one of the season's happy campers has brought along a deadly secret. Tina Shepard can see the future and levitate objects. Her doctor knows just how dangerous telekinesis can be, but he's out to exploit her, not to help her. The damn Terry Kaiser who gets you every time. Yeah. I love Terry Kaiser. <laughs> if only I had a fucking video. Imagine if he was Bernie in this movie. <laughs> That's the ultimate team up. Uh, let's see. Where the hell was I? Not to help her. Not, not to, help, to her. help her. Yeah. And now it's too late. That's not okay. Uh, <laughs> Tina, <laughs> Tina has accidentally unchained Jason from his watery grave, and the bloodbath is underway. Tina's special powers are here only, or her, her only hope for survival. But what chance does a teenage girl have against an axe wielding maniac? Is that it? <laughs> okay. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's no camp in this, and no. they're not campers. They're, they're they staying aren't. at a summer house, uh, a lake they- house. But that's not camping. But they do camp in it. They do camp. Uh, okay, there's one one person brings a tent, but they're not actually. They weren't meant to be camping. They're supposed to go to a thing. I think it's like a cabin. I think it's that thing where, like, again, this was supposed to be the first incarnation of Freddy vs. Jason. So they're like, yeah. uh, uh, what do we do? Um, so I think one of the one of the uh, things that was proposed was to do like these condos that were being built on Camp Crystal Lake. Okay, which I want to talk about. Because I did a uh, a fake trailer, right? I of, remember that of Friday Thirteenth Part Eight. So we're so I scrub <laughs> the rest of the movies after Part Seven. Okay, and it takes place. It this would is be your the, Halloween H two O. Yes, okay. pretty much. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, uh, which would involve like a land development program and take place in the winter. Okay. On, on Crystal Lake. Okay, huh. um, and involve witchcraft and stuff. Ooh. So okay. I, so I think that'd be a cool that'd idea. That'd be cool. Yes. Um. So that was one of the ideas for this. Just the parallel thinking there, and they were like, nah. And then somebody was like. What about Jason versus Carrie? Let's yes. do that. <laughs> do we have Carrie? No. No. Okay, uh, Jason versus some chick that's kind of like Carrie. Telekinesis yeah. question mark. Yeah. Uh, well, it was directed by John Paul Beekler. It, it sure what Beekler. Beekler, excuse sorry. Excuse Beekler. you. Beekler. I read it Beekler. Damn. Anyway. Uh, really great special effects guy. He made uh, the effects in some of our favorite films. Legendary Troll, Ghoulies, Carnosaur. Yeah. Carnosaur. Yep, yep, yep. Carnosaur 2. Carnosaur 2. Carnosaur 2. Possibly Carnosaur 3. Maybe. Yes. I can't remember. Uh, but no, um, he did his best with this one. Uh, it's funny you mentioned Terry Kaiser. Do you like Terry Kaiser in this movie? He's Bad News Cruz, the evil doctor. He... <laughs> He's also Bernie from Weekend of Bernie. Yeah. yeah. He's also Dr. Walkenstein from Tammy and the T-Rex. Y- yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh. See, it... <sighs> yeah. Well, oh. the reason... The reason I bring it up is because yeah. I uh, I filmed an interview with him like over a year ago and I held on to it for this video. And then a few weeks ago, I was like, man, our hard drive space is really backing up. I got to delete all these old files. And then I deleted the Terry <gasps> Kaiser interview. You're an idiot. However, on Patreon, we have a bonus video for Tammy and the T-Rex and the Tammy and the T-Rex part of the interview survives there. Well, we just got something. But the Friday the 13th part seven stuff that I was saving for this episode, accidentally deleted it. Womp womp. Let's do it right now, ready? I'll be Terry Kaiser. Uh, okay, okay. Let's do the interview. Here's the interview oh. for Friday the 13th part seven, okay, The New okay. Blood. What was it like uh, playing Bad News Cruise? Well, it was kind of like playing Bernie Lomax. Great interview. You guys he actually you started You're mumbling welcome. and talking gibberish in the in the beginning of the interview. I'm like, oh, okay. Is he at least nice? He has to write down the name of the character in Tammy the T-Rex. He can't <gasps> remember the name. It's so funny. He's like, hold on, Dr. Watkinstein. That's it. Are what's, you serious? Yeah. So what's so funny about that? Well, I mean, give the guy a break. He's like, no, no, he's uh, like 80 uh, no. something. It's a dumb name to remember. No. I would have to write it down. Uh, okay. So when I, when I met him, I had him sign a Weekend at Bernie's, and then I had him sign uh, a Tammy the T-Rex uh, yeah. VHS. And he wrote Dr. Cruz on it, not Dr. Wakasign. So that's, it's more even precious to me now. That's even funnier. Yeah. That's great. Uh, but yes. Um, so when was the first time you saw this? I always like to ask that question. This particular installment? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember. I want to say about the same time that I saw part six. Okay. So um, I used to get together uh, with my friends in like early teens not high school like right before high school like mm-hmm. uh, middle school rather and we used to do um, like marathons of these so okay. I, I, 
particularly six and seven stuck out at that time. So I guess around there. Okay. When did you first see a crystal? I've seen bits and pieces probably much of all three of these, but I just watched all three of these in a row today. Oh, wow. Today. Literally, as I was getting ready, Damn. like I legit watched a shower scene <laughs> while <laughs> I was in the shower. So, <laughs> um, well, but, yeah, I, uh, I caught bits and pieces of this on TV. I remember me and my cousins watching the ending of it, yes. like starting it right when his mask breaks off. Yeah. And we're like, oh, that's cool. But we didn't watch the beginning. So we're like, how how are all these things moving? What's going on? Who's that guy in the water at the end? We were very confused. <laughs> and then years later, I got it on DVD. Kane Hodder signed it. Nice. He signed the plastic. Nice. Not the cover, but that's fine, because I also have a picture that he signed. Um, yeah, and I really, really, really liked it uh, at the time. This, kind of, this one's kind of famous. This is like everyone's favorite looking Jason. It's mine. Really? It's pretty iconic. You know. yeah. Well, I think three and seven are my favorites. The McFarlane one is like a composite because he doesn't have the yellow yeah. gloves in the movie. Um, that's what he has in part six. Well, that's NECA. Oh, that's NECA. This is NECA. This is the first iteration that they did. Okay. Because did they he did have it. gloves? I don't think he had gloves. Anyway, keep going. I think he has gloves in part six. No, so, he does in part six, yeah, but so, not in part seven. That's yeah, but I, I... he doesn't have gloves in this. Really? No. Yeah, look, no glove. That's not a glove. Oh, no. That's a yeah, hand. I guess you're right. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. Um, yes, people really, really like this design. I don't, th I don't think the Ultimate has, like, they just put out the Ultimate figure. I don't oh, think okay. that has gloves. And I like that it does have, like, a lot of his damage from previous films, mm -hmm. like uh, the hockey mask, like, the propeller broke it. It's yeah. got the axe notch. You get to see yes. the cut on the side of his head when the machete went in there. Mm -hmm. Why it's not in part six, who knows? Um, and I really like it. It's just, there's, there's just one issue I have. Okay. Okay. He is he is very muscular. He is built. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's I, I it's, it's been a while since I took anatomy, but I'm pretty sure muscle goes on top of the skeleton. So how is he extremely built with his skeleton exposed? Well, maybe it's just on his chest. What do you think? And his and his forehead. Hold on, hold on. We're getting a call. Oh Jesus! Maybe is that John Cunningham? Have the Ask John Cunningham. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. Damn it, I'm oh. I was gonna ask oh. if they wanted to talk. Why is their bone exposed? <laughs> All right, keep going. It looks uh, cool. Yeah, so that's my only issue. I'm like, no, I get it in school, but it's like, I'm pretty sure yeah. his muscle goes on top of the skeleton. <laughs> to be fair, it's usually in spots that's where the skin's pretty thin, like yeah. on your knee, like on his knees there and like right here. Also, what Both the fuck is the game. timeline of this series? Because I'm pretty sure we're. So, I'm confused with this entire okay, series. Okay, so between with that. four and five, how many years go by? Oh, gee, I don't. I couldn't tell you how many years, but because chronologically, four and five. Because Tommy old. goes from being like what five, six. To, what the fuck are you talking about? Adult. He's like twelve. Is he? Yeah. Okay. And then he's like in twenty four. something. No, yes. he's like he's like a teen. In, okay. Oh, because yeah, because yeah, he was sent to a home so that he could. Sorry, he's being own. played so he's like, by a twenty something. Well, yeah, <laughs> um, it's not that much. And okay, like, okay. And four, then at the end of yeah. six, they say that this is ten years after six. But how much time passed between the camp being closed and this this house being built? The timeline is all over the place. So as far as I can tell, this movie takes place in, I don't know, 2049. Uh, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, the house, are you talking about the house from five? No, no. The, so or the, this house. The camp is back in six. Yeah, and then yes. it, it's, it's a whole lake. So there's like cabins on the other side. And stuff. Okay, yeah. did he like, did the rock in him drift to another part of the... Okay, anyway. Did they, um, that's that's where the boat launch is. Here's dock. the problem. Like the beginning of the movie, it's like the little girl's sad that her dad is like a drunk beating her mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the movie, she's like, I miss my alcoholic mom beating dad. I wish yeah. he was back. And it's like, yeah, I know it you feel bad so killing weird. him. Yeah, but she, she killed him. So yeah, she, she did kill him. Yeah. I can feel bad about that. But it's like, I don't know. Were you guys the best of friends before that? He seemed like he had a problem. Uh, I don't know. What, what do you feel about this one? This is it a lot was, of people's was, favorites. I would I wouldn't say a favorite. Mm -hmm. I definitely wouldn't say favorite. Mm. I don't mind it. It definitely has the Jason feel. The kills were fun. All yeah. three like there's not much nudity at all in it. You with, you the, with very, the nudity. I'm glad there isn't a lot of nudity. I want more boobs. I want less. Her. I want boobs. <laughs> I want nips. Um, it's okay. Uh, it has a Jason feel. It's fun. All the kills are fun. He's using a lot of different weapons, which is 
fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's And the it. toy comes with all of them. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's got the buzz saw. Yeah, yeah. He's got oh. an axe. It just felt like another Friday the 13th yeah. movie, but, but now, didn't have much creativity. And you had to add a person with powers to make it interesting. Yeah, they wanted him to have like a match. Make it and different. I don't think anyone was thinking of Carrie. <laughs> no, and it's like the final girl thing. What the hell was I going to say? Um, So, six comes back. Yeah. Right? And five is like, oh, that's not Jason. Yeah. yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Which I really like that I think it, that it's supposed to be Tommy Jarvis become the killer at the end of that. But yeah. uh, so they bring him back in six. And six is so like balls to the wall. Like we're fucking breaking people it's in ridiculous. half. We're twisting six is heads off. Fun. It's Triple decapitation. Six made no illusions of what it was. It no. was like, come on. we're It's a fucking we're zombie. It's like we're part six. Yeah. Let's not. Oh, yeah. We're opening up with the James Bond thing. But it thing. feels like six. After six, they were like, okay, we got to reel it back into this. We got to be serious again. Yeah, like, that's well, what it felt like. Yeah. Well, again, th this was supposed to be Freddy versus Jason. So we're like, what yeah. the fuck do we do? Okay, Carrie versus Jason. Okay. The problem with this one is that you have John Carl Beekler, yeah. one of the one of the greatest effects guys in the biz, you know, did a did a Halloween, did a Nightmare, did a mm. Friday. Yep. Um, All of the... Wait, he did a Halloween? Yeah. Well, he didn't direct it. He did the effects for it. Oh, yes. Four, okay, sorry. I believe four, five, and then six. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Sorry, I hit the fucking mic. No, anyway, um, but for whatever reason, Paramount was like, yeah, we're going to cut all the gore out of this one. Yes, that is the most famous. How did you feel about the kills in this? Did but you know about that? But that's my point. I didn't know that. And yeah. it now makes sense. Like the six, like six <sighs> reinvigorated it for yeah. people. Yeah. And then they did this, and people were like, well, where the fuck's all the gore? Yeah, I didn't even, that you know? didn't. Yeah. Hit yeah. Me until you just said that, and it felt like it was lacking so much, like something. And it's the gore. That's exactly. It's lacking yeah. boobs and gore. <laughs> Holy fuck! It's missing my favorite fucking thing. Well, yes. I, I mean, why do you watch the Friday Thirteenth movies to see Jason kill people? And yeah. if you're not delivering that, it's I really like, like. I really like just looking at lakes. Oh yeah, me too. Oh. That's why I watch Friday. I like. 13th. I like watching zombie guys breathe. Not he so much. I really just like the lakes. You hear him breathe in, was it one scene? And it's really, really loud. And then you never hear it again. I'm very confused on his breathing. Um, well, I'm as, a little concerned. As we go through these, um, <laughs> yeah. some it gets dicey at, po at yeah. points. Uh, I will say one good thing about this movie. It's the last one to give you a recap. Yes. I love that. And I it's Crazy too. Ralph. There's a legend around here. A killer buried but not dead. We brought it's Crazy, crazy Ralph, Ralph back doing the VO over the whole thing. Uh -huh. Like, that's so fun. Yeah, because they're like, they're like, oh, what are we? Not, we're part seven? Shit. Okay, we should probably tell people what happened. Yes. <laughs> at, at no point does Ralph go, and then there was another guy. <laughs> uh, yep. I, I was dead by that point. I don't even know how I know all this stuff. I've been dead. <laughs> You're going two. back to Camp Blood again? Ain't ya? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah but, but you're right about the gore. Sure. And the the worst thing is all the footage was destroyed. Well, it exists. It was destroyed? In, it exists in horrible VHS really quality. It's on the Blu-ray. Yeah. You can look at the kills. You can watch are you it, serious? Yeah. Is it that? The so negatives are gone. Like yeah. Paramount got rid of them. Which I don't like. F just make the cut, right? Fine. Yeah. If they're gone, just pop them in there. I don't give a shit. Give yeah. us an option to watch it with everything spliced back in. Just I put a disclaimer like, like, hey, sorry. It's not going to look great. Well, before they did the the uh, remaster of Silent Night, Deadly Night, they did that. I don't know if you remember, the yeah. uncut version on DVD was all spliced together with like, I mean, it was film, but it was like really shit quality and it was mm. all spliced together. But like, I would have took that. That you reminds know? me of the first edition of the Alien 3 Assembly Cup, and we'll save that conversation <laughs> for another day. There you go. Uh, I will say, what do, what do you feel about the uh, the characters in this? You got, you got uh, the guy with the sweater who became, who became Chad in the video game. Um, my favorite. You have the the bitchy blonde girl. Yeah, it's just it's, it's, as as cliche as you can possibly be. You don't really care about them at all. Yeah, I'm it way was, more invested in Terry Crews being they, an asshole than I am any of these kids. This definitely isn't the best group of kids. No. Um, I like I like the chick who's who like was like mousy her whole life. Oh, the chipette. Ch <laughs> chipette. <laughs> yeah, she looked like a chipette. What do you? What's no, no, she kind of looks like one of the chipettes. What's a chip? Oh, like from the chipmunks? Like yeah. the chipmunks? Oh, yeah. I was like, what the fuck is she? She kind of has about? a chipette. The way her hair looks, I'm not saying she <laughs> Wait, would is look it the, like it. The redhead one? 
No, that the one? girl with the glasses that does the all the one that was oh, like, you need a little, you need a little touch up. Yes, touch and then up she puts the makeup on. Oh, I love. Which by the way, I thought that, I thought that's I a thought sweet. That was adorable. A sweet on, on the Blu-ray, they did a video in like 2014 where those two actors got together and they go get like makeovers and stuff. Oh, it's really? A Blu-ray. <laughs> it's like them meeting up. And the, the special feature is called t a little touch up my ass or something like <laughs> oh, that. That's awesome. <laughs> but she kind of looks like a chipette. I don't know what exactly chipette okay. she looks like, but I, you ever since I was a kid, I'm like, girl looks like a chipette. <laughs> so if that's the case, is the chick from Hostel 2 then the Theodore of the chipettes? I cannot remember anything about Hostel 2. I'm sorry. The one who gets hung upside down and uh, Elizabeth Bathory? Shh. Mm, don't know. Uh, they what all about blend the together to me. Yo, what about the, the sci-fi writer? You like him? Oh my god, he was obnoxious. <sighs> I couldn't. It was too much. It was too much. You didn't like his story about the it's in the future and everyone is amazing. And then he wraps himself up in streamers and so I was like, is he the high one? Wait, he's not high. Wait, which was the high one? <laughs> the guys, I'm confused. You read HP both... Lovecraft? <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah, uh what you what you were saying about the kills though. They are toned down. They are. They are. They really are. Like, I think, uh, what you got? Doesn't a guy get his head like crushed in the deleted scenes? He, no, the, the one guy I know, if I'm remembering the right, yes, this. Yeah, one, yeah, yeah. He literally gets his head like, and yeah, then they crushed cut away with his hands. But they had like a collapsible head. The head collapsed and like a fountain of blood shot out. Yes. Terry Kaiser gets his fucking like stomach sliced open. Yeah. And all his guts fall out. Now, re like, thinking of all these kills now. They're really what it team. was quick. Yeah. It was yeah. it was uh, the kill and then back to a different shot. Kill back to a shot. You don't get to sit and enjoy the kill. Exactly. That's what you're supposed yeah. to do. Yeah. You're supposed to feel it and be in it. And that now that's kind of what Hatchet did. Like when Adam Green was like, "Hey, oh, John, I like we're, Hatchet. Gonna read, we're gonna do yeah. this," and then he now you know I will say there is one version in the theatrical cut that I like more. I like the way the sleeping bag is edited in the theatrical cut more. When he picked that is the that is well, the that, kill uh, of the yeah, movie. I was gonna say that's like one of the most iconic kills of this. Even when he though, drags her out, when he and then slams her. What yeah, was the slams other her, one? Slams her I, against the tree. It's good. It's one and done. In the in the extended like scene, he does it like five or six oh, times, yeah. and the bag gets bloodier each time. Yeah. I want to see that. Yeah. I mean, and while they were shooting it, Kane Hodder was pissed because he didn't realize the dummy was gonna be so heavy. It was like 90 pounds, and he had to keep doing it over and over <laughs> again. The first time that's happened to this poor guy. Oh, no, Kane Hodder. That's the thing. That's the one takeaway from this is when Kane Hodder came into the series. Everyone's favorite Jason, but he's in some of the worst Jason movies. Yes. How ironic is that? Yeah, like one of my favorite uh, performances is Richard Brooker in 3. Yes. Like, he's a fucking animal in that movie, yes. and I really like it. Yes. Uh, but Kane Hodder, I will say, he like really put a lot in it. He was like hyped to be it. He's... Kane, Kane's, emoting a little bit like more a, than Jason usually does. Yeah, because he's a beast at it. I mean, you have to be. It, you're an undead. Undead? Would you say? Yeah, he's kind of like right. You. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You're an undead villain. You're a killer, and you you can't be like you're not just a normal guy, a normal slasher. This you're is, clearly fucking mm. decayed zombie Jason. This is like the hulking Jason, yeah. the yeah. heaving chest. Uh, you know, big. Burly motherfucker. CJ yep. Graham was supposed to reprise his role as Jason from part six. Of yeah, this. I think uh, Beekler won it, Kane Hodder. Well, yeah, Beekler worked on prison right before this, okay. or not before this, but had worked with him before. And he was like, Yeah, I want Kane on this. Mm. And there you go. Well, Kane's a fucking beast. And when you uh, see him in person, and you're just like, Oh shit. He's like, Oh yeah, and he oh, he's such a funny dude. I think he's I have so the picture. <laughs> I think oh if God. I have the picture, cut to picture of 14 year old Tony with Kane Hodder who was dressed as a cowboy or something. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> He took a picture with me and my mom because she had never met him before. She's yeah. a huge Friday the 13th fan. So yeah, funny. no, Kane Hodder's really great in it. Uh, he was real psyched to do it. Uh, he looks great in it. It yeah. is funny. Jason is like, he's very stiff and everything until his mask comes off. And then suddenly he's emoting a little bit more. He's like moving his mouth well, more. And it's like, all right. Get the mileage out of that makeup, baby. Yes. Uh, There's like random parts. I think, it, yeah, it was in this one where you sometimes you can see his one eye and sometimes you can't. Mm -hmm. oh, that was throwing me off a little bit. I don't know why. Yeah. Sometimes it looked like there was like no eyes, and then sometimes you. Well, I think at this point he's not, he did have eyes in the previous one, but I think it's supposed to be you, assumed he has no eyes. He in had this. the one but eye. He does. In the he has the one. Yeah, and yeah. you see the at least the one eye. I remember seeing that, and then I was like, "Wait, can you not see his eye anymore?" That threw me yeah. off a little bit. Yeah. I think when he was going up the steps um, quite a few times. Uh, one other kill I like. I do like the axe to the head. Mm -hmm. That's another one. That's I know it's trimmed one. down, but I kind of like how the cut is because yeah. it's the and it happens to the character you want it to happen to the most, other than Terry Kaiser. I liked. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of liked her. 
the blonde girl? Yes. I oh, she was like such her. a bit. She I know. Was, but at least she was so mean. She had more of a personality, <laughs> she, though. She needs to be there for the she, formula. You have to. You Is have this how to. they wore jackets in the insane asylum? It's like, well, lady, you're mean. But you <laughs> what, is she need crazy? that. No one else really was a memorable, too much of a memorable character. Yeah. Even um, our telekinesis girl. Like, uh, I'm just like, she's well, okay, but Lar Park, yes, Tina. Lar Park Lincoln. She's, she kind of just lays there. You know what no. I mean? I, she's, she, oh, I, look, my I God. Like, I like Tina. Yeah. And I like Laura Park Lincoln, but it's not, she's not. Well, that, even Beagler says he feels but, bad that he just made her cry a bunch. Yeah. He kind of wishes it was a little different. Yeah. I think the only thing I remember Tina really doing is she's really good at running. She yeah. runs yeah. out of the house. <laughs> Every time something happened, you just see her running out the house. And I'm like, really? <laughs> You're so good at running. She should have been out of there by now. What the fuck? <laughs> Literally, beginning, first scene. She's running out of the house. Next, running out of the house. And I'm like, what the fuck, bitch? Well, at least she survives. She survives Jason. And yeah. she goes and she She's meets um, that, that one dude from house two. <laughs> and then she becomes a big record producer. And right. the guy, they did that. All, there you go. Yeah. Uh, but they fall in love so fucking fast. I was like, "What the fuck is happening?" Oh god, that that actor who was in the subspecies movies. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's in subspecies two and three. And then I checked on IMDb. Apparently, there's a new subspecies being made by uh, what's what's his face? I don't know. But this actor's coming back allegedly. I don't really? know. Really? Uh, there's that one scene that they have in here that was cracking me up. Like Which one? it's. He's supposed to be flirting with her, and they hear like a noise in the woods. And he comes back. He's like, "I saw it." He's like, "It was a big pink elephant." <laughs> <laughs> it's just like he was having trouble talking. I saw it. It's a uh, big pink elephant. Oh, I just oh, remember no. Ted Nicolau is doing the subspecies review. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Um, Which he did the original. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wait, is he the director or the guy? He's the, he's the director. Oh. Anders Hove is uh, Radu. Radu. Yeah. yeah, I took a picture with him at a convention, and I said, "Hey, can oh, I?" Yes. I said, "Hey, can I interview you?" And he looked at me. and He went, "No." <laughs> I'm like, "Well, okay." Wow. Shut up That's and aggressive. sign my critters. I thought he was table. joking, oh and then he walked away from me. I'm like, <gasps> "Okay." What a dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> what a dick. Kind of drunk, dude. <laughs> yes. So, uh, can we talk about like Jason's kill? Or we're planning on talking about that, like how oh, Jason, how Jason died. gets killed. Yeah, well, first off, Jason oh. does get fucked up in this. Oh, big time. And Kane Hodder also got fucked up in this. Did he she, really? Yeah, she knocks him. They made balsa wood steps. But, you know, just lucky enough, his head hit the one of real course. step on the way down. <gasps> oh, uh, no. And then when the, the house, like, breaks and falls him, he got hit in the face. So luckily the mask padded that. Oh, oh my God. Uh, he... They said he had the longest on, like he was on fire the longest on screen at that point. I don't know if it's been beaten yet. And this is a guy who has like burns on him. Yeah, this is what this guy wears gloves yes. because of it. Yeah. He's yeah. got like burnt skin and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, he does a lot. And then and then the ending happens where who who could save her from Jason? The ghost of the wife beating alcoholic dad. The actual wife the, beating alcoholic just, dad. The fa can we just go back a little bit further yeah. of her trying to use her telekinesis to kill him? Yeah. And there was There's some cool parts. I love when he gets Oh, I'm just go ahead. Yeah. Go, right. No, go, 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 go. I, I love when it like wraps around his neck and like he dra gets dropped into the basement and That's like the, cool. the fire and the mask. I like, goes, I like when he goes, ah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it squeezes on his head and the juice comes out. Like, That's cool. Yeah. That was cool. And I wanted to goes, see, Ksh, you know, iconic now, now what, of that. That's what he what should I have done was real quick when he when he was getting choked, he should have been like, I don't have an esophagus or anything. <laughs> I'm yes. good. Like, and then she goes, how are you talking? He goes, I'm not talking. I just choose not to <laughs> but most clearly, of the time. Clearly he's not dying. He yeah. is well, a zombie. Wouldn't you think she would just crush his head or just literally bend him in half or something? Well, like she also that? doesn't know how to use her powers that way. She well. knew how to fucking crush his head. She knew how to take the things and throw it around his neck. She knew how to use She's them. She's learning that point. how to use the power. Well, she clearly look, look, there's other look, ways to or control them rather, because because from yeah. the whole time she's had to get angry for them to work. Yeah, you know what I mean. See, but she's they crushing need to his do... head. She should have just kept crushing it. She was trying every other way, and clearly he's not gonna die. Well, hopefully she gets sent to New York and joins Xavier's school. For I would gifted you me to the fucking joke. Hopefully Professor X is alive. He tends to die a lot. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> Could happen again, right? Maybe. I mean, he's already died twice. I'm not going to be shocked. We're filming this ahead of time. If he dies a third time, I'm going to be like, yeah, I kind of expected okay. that day. He's kind of known for dying. <laughs> um, yeah, so the original ending, 
she was still supposed to summon her dead father, mm. which I think is pretty stupid for other reasons, but he was going to be like, did they ever even end up shooting it? I'm pretty sure. And they did this like whole elaborate makeup. Yeah. That, that was part of the big cuts that Paramount made. Yeah. Like, yeah, nah, 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 nah. that's yeah, too come gross. Cut it out. Oh, it, you know what really? Else they, that's. Yeah. He was like decayed and everything. But And he's not. I know. Well, look. I'm not saying it's smart. I yeah. think it's stupid as hell. It is stupid to reshoot it and he just looks normal with and some mud on his face. That it's makes like, no what? sense. Yeah, but, well, because then it's like a dream kind of almost. And I that's guess. where I would have pivoted it yes, off the end I can of go the with thing that. where yeah. that part was a dream and like Lar Park wakes up yeah. and Jason's just dead on the dock. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Sitting on the dock. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> now, um, actually, one thing that was cut out of this. Uh, or wasn't even filmed. It was shot down. Instead of seeing her mom on the side of the road, like getting the vision of her dying, mm -hmm. it was going to be young Jason with his mother's head as kind of like a wink and a nod to the fans who've been paying attention. And the, I guess the producer shot it down. But that's interesting because there's a lot of weird images of young Jason in the next we'll, movie. We'll oh fucking get to, to, to yeah. yeah. I mm -hmm. can't, oh, there's so many things. But yeah, that would make one. sense yeah. for this one. Yeah. But Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood, or uh, I've never confirmed this, but apparently this movie was jokingly called to as Fry Gay the 13th because there were a lot of gay guys on the set. <laughs> and I went to confirm this because I heard that. And it turns out there's a podcast called Fry Gay the 13th. They That's have a million amazing. episodes. Yeah. Yes. And I'm like, oh, that, that podcast is great. Is yeah, it? Okay. Yeah. I want to check great. it out now because I'm looking oh, yeah. to see if the story's real. And I just kept <laughs> at page after page of the podcast. I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to listen to the podcast. I think they're part of the Bloody Disgusting Network. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I think, yeah. And yeah, they used to be on those forums uh, all the time. Oh, man, tell me about it. They used to be my favorite. Um, we probably got into fights on the forum Probably, at some point. yeah. Losers. Yeah, you're probably like, Halloween 6 is bad. I'm like, nah, it's the greatest movie ever. It's I like Halloween cool. 6. <laughs> <laughs> but keep going, keep going. The producer's cut. Yeah. <laughs> Young Tony loved. We'll talk. Either. We can talk about oh. that at a different time. At some point, um, we might do a worst Halloween movie well, episode. I'm I would totally love to talk that. about worst that. Halloween so far. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, I would, we should love do to do it on that. the on the eve, right, of that one. <laughs> I might want to do it before Halloween ends. You should do it for, with it, Halloween ends and put it all in one damn video. Yeah, but then we can get two videos out of it, like we did with Texas Chainsaw. Okay, you know, we gotta right. gotta be a long term thinker. You gotta, gotta put a lot of put a lot of views on one video. <laughs> Yes. Right? Yes. That's how you know. And make them come back for the next one. <laughs> anyway. It's like a 10 hour video at that point. Then Great. we'll do the, the Vietnamese. What was the one I told you about? The Halloween oh. that we talked about? What? She, yeah, you it mentioned like, something. It was like a knockoff. And then we talked about the Portuguese, excuse remember me. Remember we talked about the, the thing one? sequel? We got to talk about yes, that. Yes, and the same people that made the thing. Yeah. Oh, God. And the oh, Aliens God. one, too. I and by the way, that. I looked at the trailer for that thing sequel. And it's all stock footage. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Anyway, anyway. Um,. Yeah, this movie is very memorable. It's got a lot of cool stuff in it. Uh, the Jason was used for the video games cover. Mm -hmm. The box, not the menu screen. That was yeah. part four. Uh, I'm glad you can now get a mask of this because this is a lot of people's favorite look of mm -hmm. zombie Jason. Um, yeah, you know, and the the McFarlane toy was heavily based off this. That one was more of an amalgam, too. Yeah, because it, I think there was it was like part six, part eight. And, yeah, and a with, little bit of part nine with the poster really? for part nine, because that's yeah. what they had the rights to. Yeah. Um, but overall, it's it's got great effects. Uh, that you it, can see, and it has even greater effects that you don't see. That's what I want to see. It, um, it, it shot like, really nice. Yeah. It's it scored. Is. The music's good. I like that well, opening score where it's like dun, 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 dun. That was fun. It's crazy because like uh Harry Manfredini was just tried something different with this. Yeah. And I really appreciated that, but it mm -hmm. still was Friday. Like, remember when he, remember when was, he tried exactly. something different for part three? I love that theme. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> my my mother and my father walked out to that at my wedding. If you I was there. That's yeah. cool. You were there. I was there. To the Friday yeah. 13th. Cut to the uh, beautiful the pictures awesome. I took of Joe at his wedding. Oh, that's a beautiful picture. <laughs> oh, I love that picture too. Uh, anyway. It was Tony's wedding, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's just him marrying himself. That's what it would well, be. If yeah. he's yeah. to marry anyone, it's himself. But yes, uh, and like I said, uh, Beekler wanted to do a follow-up to part seven. And he didn't get to do it. No, and he again, to continue. I, he, I think did. he wanted to make it like she was the next Tommy Jarvis and she'll get like a trilogy. Yeah. Well, do you want to talk about that when we talk about eight? Yeah, let's get okay. into part eight. Cause I, um, do we have any closing thoughts on part seven? Um, I think it's a so I think it's a solid entry. It's not one of my favorites, but it is very memorable in terms of the visuals. Um, and I wish that by some stroke of God, <laughs> somehow, some way, those uh, you know, lost elements. 
become how would you feel if, how would you feel if they like shot for shot recreated the gore stuff like kind of like how Richard Donner had to shoot Donner had to shoot new footage for his Superman two cut or how Grizzly two has to use stock footage. What if they like a hundred or like Peter Jackson recreated the King Kong spider pit scene? Um, uh, that would be a great like fan project. Yeah. yeah. To put that back yeah. in there. It wouldn't um, be the same though. It, no, of no. course not. Or if you you'd have the, to shoot on the cameras on the film stock. Yeah. And, and, and or if you CGI it and try to match no, it as much. Yeah, no, no fucking thanks. No. Yeah, that one. Uh, but no, I, they probably should just put a cut where they just throw the VHS footage that's in and they go, sorry, this is the best we could do. I also yeah. think I, that's what's keeping this from being one of my favorite entries, I think. Yeah, that's and it's a shame because like, yeah. some of the other versions we got on rated cuts and yeah. we got the gore which put is, back in. It's a shame nuts. this one was so heavily censored. And when it was censored, they just like threw it in the fucking garbage, like not like put it away. No one thought to yeah. hold on. Like, I yeah, but how why? do you have it from the other movies? I don't yeah, know. but like uh, exactly. It, how are you doing? Like, what was the main reason Depends why they decided to do that? in charge at the That's, time. I don't know. It's, it's fucking Friday the 13th. But it's also one of, yeah, it's a big blockbuster. But, but it was well, also, not a blockbuster. They but, were also kind of embarrassed that this did so, like these did so well. It's one of those things, right? Paramount was like, oh God. So then why don't just give them what they want? they're making money from it. Exactly. Yeah. They're making money from this character. It's crazy yeah. to me, to, just to your point, it's crazy yeah. to me that like, we have these obscure horror movies that have like one fucking print in existence on like 16 mm. millimeter that's in somebody's fucking garage that somehow got a Blu-ray release. Yeah. But we don't have the cut footage from uh, Friday 7. I just think a lot of times like the studio just thought it wasn't worth saving. That was before DVD and the option of having a a, a, a alternate cut on video was even a thing. I think it did poorly because six was so graphic and yeah. that mm -hmm. was the fun part of that. And yeah. when you, yeah. when you uh, uh, sanitize it, it doesn't work as well. And by the way, a lot, when you look at the footage, a lot of it's pretty tame by today's standards. That's, yeah. It was just some asshole apparently. Yeah. And it was like real, like they're so over the top. I don't know why anyone would take it seriously, mm -hmm. but they have no problem with all these people just being murdered. Like they just don't want to show the blood. They just don't want to show the blood. Well, that's a problem so now. But you can yeah. show tons. Of, there's a I, shit ton of sex in it. I mean, I, you don't see it anything. No. You don't see anything, but you see so many people having sex. And this is the later '80s. Yeah. And all the previous sequels are like, here's boobs, here's a butt, here's beaver, here's everything. Yeah. Literally everything. I talked about yeah. this. I talked about this um, previously. Like PG-13 movies today are some of the most violent movies, but just because they don't have blood, cursing, or gore, they get away with it. It's like, but people are being shot, and like, Civil War starts with a guy being drowned to death and yeah. tortured. I'm like, in the 80s, this one is a flu, so it's so weird to see. That's why I hate the MPA, because it's not consistent. But if no. it's already rated R, just fucking yeah. put the blood in it. But my but. biggest problem is, that's what this fucking movie's made for. It's yeah. literally yeah. called New Blood. There's no blood, they put blood on blood. the title. There is no... Blood in New Blood. It's a Friday <laughs> movie. That's what everybody watches these for. Right? Now, now, now. It's called No I'm Blood. I'm a little, I'm a little tired of always being like. Oh, oh, by the way, so the dad was still down there. I'm pretty sure they would have dragged the. Jesus lake. fucking Christ! What but the anyway, fuck with that dad? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Maybe yeah. they didn't tell anybody. Maybe anyway. they just said he disappeared. <laughs> Yeah, the dead whole bodies float. Uh, dead bodies tend to float. Maybe Jason was giving him a hug. You know, uh, yo, Jason grabbed yeah. onto him. Oh, I've been so lonely. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, just best friends. Oh, as I kick everything. Yo, in. you're good. Yeah. Anyway, Ooh. but yeah, I think I think we're all tired of Jason at that goddamn camp. Even though he wasn't at the camp in part three or part four or part five, mm -hmm. but we're all tired of that goddamn camp in the woods. Listen, Tony, I don't want to see fucking Jason Voorhees at that camp anymore. No, baby. no. And luckily, Rob had- Wait, 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 hold on. Yeah. So let's do Freddy vs. Jason now, right? Yes, that's okay. what you would do, Let's right? do it. But this is still when they were owned by two different companies yes. and they couldn't come to an agreement. Yeah. So, so Rob Hedden stepped in. What year are they apart? I think that one's 89 and no. New Blood is 88. I 88, think they're only a year yeah, apart. 88, no. 89, yeah, yeah. a year. So, um, Rob Hedden steps in, and we all know Rob Hedden. He went on to direct the TV movie Alien Fury Countdown to Invasion yeah. and write the Nickelodeon film Clock Stoppers. Uh, Rob Hedden stepped in. He's like, I got an idea. We're taking, we're taking Jason to Manhattan. <laughs> Well, originally they were like, okay, so we don't want to put him at the lake. So yeah. do we put him on a cruise ship? Which 
okay, kind of. And no. then somebody was like, no, wait, wait. <laughs> what if we brought him to the New York City, right? And we fucking yes. throw him off the Statue of Liberty, and he fucking has a fight. He has a boxing in Ma- in fight Madison Square in Madison Garden. Square Garden. I'm like, that's terrible. Yes. And he was like, I'll tell you what, kiddo. <sighs> I'll do fucking everything in one movie. And I'll even scrape up some bits from that uh, planned sequel that uh, Beekler and Lar Park Lincoln wanted to do. Yes. And, uh... Yeah. Can we get this trash? Everyone involved with this movie will admit that it was a big letdown. Crystal. Yeah. Could you please read the back of the box? I suck at reading out loud. People love this fucking movie. I can't read. Real? Why? We'll talk about it. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, if you're going in knowing it's that ridiculous. I I have a theory of why. The big app, the big apples in trouble. Uh, see, I told you I can't read out loud. <laughs> I literally can't read. Try it again, can't see try it again just, slowly. Just leave it all in there. Slowly. Right? <gasps> the big apples in big trouble. As indestructible psycho fiend Jason Voorhees hits the road to New York City and paints the town red. <laughs> After a shocking return from beyond the grave, the diabolical, diabolical Jason ships out aboard a teen-filled love boat bound for New York City, or bound for New York, yeah. which he soon transforms into the ultimate voyage of the damned. Then one of the terrified victims escapes into the nightmare maze of Manhattan's subways and sewers only to confront Jason's one more, or one final time. The imposing Kane Hodder plays the ro- role of Jason with unholy relish. Yes, he really he really wanted to come back and they're like, okay. Sure. Uh, and he has a fight scene with CJ Graham, who or no, not CJ Graham, VC Ken, Dupree. No, oh, Ken Kurzinger. Ken Kurzinger, yeah. who yeah. would play Jason later yeah, on. Freddy vs. Jason, yeah. Um, yes. Uh when did you first see this movie, Joe? I think again, at those we would marathon these. Mm. Um but we're also, you know, we were teen boys who were like, yeah. oh yeah, where's the boobs? Where's the blood? It's Jason Voorhees. Yeah. When you come back to this movie, sorry, I, I, no, no, I I'm good. just going to answer your going. question. Uh, probably around the same time I saw. Stuff. <laughs> okay. 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 A really long way. Well, yeah. So, Crystal, I guess you saw this movie in full today. In full today, I okay. knew what it was about. Was I never last... wanted to watch it. I watched it today. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. So this, I think I mentioned in a previous episode. This is the first one I saw all the way through. Really? Wow. Yes. Why? I remember watching it with my mom when I was young. I had seen bits and pieces of the other ones, but this is the first one that I watched like from uh, fr- from almost the beginning to sure. the end. Okay. I don't think I knew the the Manhattan twist cuz I might have me- I might have just forgot cuz it was on TV or I might have forgot about the New York cuz it opens with New York yeah. and oh then immediately goes away. Uh, but yeah, I remember yeah, being like, we we'll really? here eventually to Vancouver. I remember being really into it as a kid. And then when they showed up in New York, I'm like, oh my God, he's in the big city. It's not like and it's thinking, called Jason Takes Manhattan. Yeah. And I thought the movie would be longer. <laughs> and I'm like, well, he spent a lot of time on that boat. I guess there's going to be a lot of city stuff. Oh yeah. You know it. No. <laughs> uh, and I remember being very confused by some of the things in this film. And I was like, well, maybe because I haven't seen all the other ones. I and see- now that I've seen all yeah. of them many, many times, I'm still very confused about a lot of things in these in Oh, my God. Film. The fact that there's no Jason takes Broadway, I'm really upset. There's so much you could have done. And, like, a ton, you could do there's so much with And this. I get they wanted so to shoot in Vancouver to keep much. the price down. But even then, this you is the could mo- have done stuff. Tone, this is the most expensive Friday. I think. Is it really? And up until this point, this was the most expensive Friday the 13th. And I'm like, where the Why? fuck did you put that money? If you're going to go in big, Square? go big. Yeah. Like, and you can shoot most of it in Vancouver. A lot of movies shoot in other sure. cities to fake New York. Whatever. What was that one? I think, uh, uh, what was the Mariah Carey movie, Glitter? Oh I my know. God. I think they filmed, it's supposed to be in New York, but I think they filmed in Toronto and there's a lot of Toronto Landmarks. If I'm thinking of the right movie, there's they a movie usually that's, use that. There's supposed you know? to be a movie that's in New York, and it's very clear that they're filming in front of landmarks <laughs> that are not New York. Anyway, that's wonder, right. How much was Home Alone Two: Lost in New York? How much was that movie? How much? Did, how much oh, was the God, budget? I don't, oh, I don't know. They knew they were going to make a bigger return. With yeah, that they movie. definitely I knew. <laughs> yeah, like, they did. But, but that's an pyramid. example it's of their cash cow. New York, yeah. and they they use New York well. I'm trying to think of another example. Um, yeah, if you have this many Friday the 13th, I'm pretty sure you're going to put in a decent amount of money and be like, okay, Fucking what the, went wrong the, last year? The Muppets Let's... take Manhattan. They were in Manhattan. Yeah, well, there yes, you go. They were. 
Now they, I they walk say, by Jason. Uh, yeah. I will say other movies learn from this because oh maybe not Leprechaun too because he's in Hollywood but he doesn't really do Hollywood stuff. Well, well Leprechaun three they send him to Vegas. Vegas, and it's like, yeah. he's yes, going to he be in casinos. Yes. He's going to go to a magic show. But that lines up with the character. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then and then Leprechaun in space, like he is in space. <laughs> Fuck how he got there. He's already <laughs> in space. And we have reviews for those on our channel. It's a better movie than Jason X, in my opinion. Yes, and then uh, like other movies learn, like hey, if you're going to put the killer somewhere, it should probably be there. Don't do what this movie did where you trick everyone and it's on a fucking cruise ship. Where is Crystal Lake? I assume New Jersey. It, it's, it's in New well, Jersey. the real one is Blairstown, New Jersey. Yeah. Yes, but I assumed like we're it was probably also in New Jersey. I think there's even a cemetery that says New Jersey in one of them. Possibly. So why don't they I don't think it can <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this movie fucking opens with these with this couple on a fucking like I don't know what houseboat. It's oh, the huge. camp's back, by yeah. the way. Yeah, the how, camp is back. Yeah, yeah, you would have to launch this. I don't even know how the boat is in the lake. Like it would have to be way far offshore. Yes, I feel like for a boat that size to be in there in the first place. Yes, and it seems that in between films, not only did they rebuild the camp, uh, they've laid some electrical pipe and why? Yeah. What and the they fuck? laid it over Jason's body. No one bothered <laughs> it just to check. Happens. <laughs> Like, why? why? No one ever drags the lake in Crystal Lake. Of, He's not tied up this time. No. You drag the lake, you'll get him. <laughs> of all of the of all of the ways to bring him back, yeah. because we don't really know what happened at the end of Part Seven. You, you could have did so many things. Oh, I don't know. Put a fucking power line over him, and, and we'll run an anchor over him. Electricity. Your dad came back to life. I was gonna say that. Yes. No, where's my like, dad? I Sir, are you okay? Together, they became lovers down in the. Well, no, 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 no. They, 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 accidentally, they accidentally bring the dad back. No, no, they're like, no, no, no. They're like, man, you look rough. And the girl's like, hey, would you like a drink? And he goes, yeah. And then he just starts slapping oh, her. Like, no. Oh, no. <laughs> There's a reason he died. Friday the 13th, the domestic abuse. <laughs> Did you bring back Jason? No, I brought back that guy who beats wives. <laughs> he's kind of an asshole. He's like, worse. Like, like, it's really bad. I mean, we'll survive, but Chug, he's Chug, a problem. Chug, smack, smack, smack. Yeah. <laughs> and then he went on to Father Ezra Miller. Anyway. <gasps> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oops. You know what's funny? By the time uh, this airs, he probably would have gotten in more trouble. <laughs> the moron. So anyway. Oh, uh, God. Yeah. So make sure Ooh. that you're on this boat and yes. you're telling, you know, you're trying to score, right? Yeah. Trying to have sex with this woman. So scare Let's her. Let's scare the living shit out of her yeah. multiple times. Mm -hmm. Buy your, buy your, uh, you know, Jason Voorhees TM fucking hockey bag. Okay, okay. All yes. the notches and, and breakaways that are from the previous film. His I think it's just the notch. It's just the notch. The 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 chevrons they call it are a little different. Yeah. Yes, but he has a mask that has the axe notch in it. It looks it, like. It, by it the way, like this, a Halloween is sword. he now like his iconic figure, like how like Michael Myers became? I don't know, but by by the way, at this yes. point uh, chronologically, I believe they're in uh, the year three thousand. Um, <laughs> so at this point, hockey masks. Those hockey masks are way dated. Yeah. No like one's that. using those masks anymore. No. Like, they were dated around the time. I'm not a big hockey guy, but I'm pretty sure they were dated by the time these movies were getting made. Yeah, I think, that, I think the, the mask, isn't it, like, from the 70s or something like that? I'm yeah. not a big hockey dude, so I don't know. Yeah, well, I know they had to add the neck guards yeah. and stuff because the one guy got sliced. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so this guy just happened to have a hockey mask. I guess when he, it belonged to someone in the 70s who was playing hockey and then the puck broke it and then they gave it to him and it's just a coincidence. It's my dad's how, who was on the boat or how something. Just give him a new mask. But know. how do they know that how does he know that there's a cut in his mask? Like where are there are there photos of Jason? How yes, does he there know? is. There is. There is? In Friday the 13th Part 5. Remember the newspaper has a picture of Jason. <laughs> That's right. Yes. But I don't think he has the axe notch yet in that one because that's when. Oh no, no he, he would. Does. He, he would because it was from part four. four. Part, yeah, part four and part three. Yeah. Part three, three, part three, three is the axe. When it happens, four is the machete. Yes, I think Cinema Stop brought that up. He's like, who the fuck took that picture? Roy, of course. <laughs> Roy took it. He's like, ah, oh, yes, I like, <laughs> I like your mask. Where'd you get it, son? So I guess he saved that, that newspaper later. and knows exactly what his. Mask I guess so. I guess he went to the. Forest Hills or whatever the fuck it was called. Forest Green. Forest Green. No, Forest Green is what they named this. Oh. I like how they went back and just named yeah. the city Crystal Lake again. Camp Blood. So anyway, yes, they, they drop the anchor and they bring Jason back to life. And he's like, what a coincidence. <laughs> I've got a new mask. <laughs> Thank you. Thank uh, you. I, I thought I would have to go to the store. Such a coincidence. <laughs> 
But like, but this raises the question. If Jason came back to like, does he just grab whatever mask is available? I, I would assume so, because it's right there, right? Like, what if he had a... Uh, what if it was like a furry convention? Like he runs around with a mascot with like head a on? fox, like a blue and green <laughs> <Yeah>. fox. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, that's fucked up, and I'm probably sure, you know, yeah. it was a bad it was bad writing is what it is. Yeah. But I hate the fucking... And this because he's like... Yeah, it's a little garbled. What the fuck yeah, is that? it's yeah. bad. Why? Are you, what are you? Don't doesn't fuck need with it. that. Doesn't need it. Doesn't yeah. need it. Also, not to the extent of the previous one, but they also trimmed out a lot of gore in this. Like when he stabs him with that harpoon, it goes like all the way into him, yeah. and they trim that out. Uh, there is. There's, there's. I think it shows a lot more than part seven, though. It, it does, more but they, than even seven. then, they still trimmed it. Yeah. Shows more than seven, but not much. Yes. I, it would probably be like, I guess, the second least amount. Yes. I think so. But the same thing with nudity. What yes. The fuck? Uh, and then we get to, uh, oh, by the way, there's I love, no boobs in this one. Um, There's a girl in a pair underwear. You see her butt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. There's boobs there right is. in the beginning. In the I beginning. looked. Oh, okay, I, okay, okay, I made okay. sure. I was like, I made sure that I saw nips at least once. Yeah, I, I always one. look away from the screen. I go, no. Nope. No, <laughs> show me your only blood. And then I read the Bible and then I go back. Oh yeah, because I got excited in the beginning. I'm like, yay, we're gonna finally go back to boobs and like good old. Tony hits himself with a fucking <laughs> stick. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so w w there's a bunch of kids. They just graduated Crystal Lake High School or whatever. I, it took me so long to figure out actually yeah, what so, was happening. So the girl is Friends with the one teacher who gives her a pen from Stephen King because she's going to be allegedly. A she doesn't have it. That bitch needs a certificate of authenticity yeah. with that. Uh, yeah. And then her uncle is the principal, and he's the old guy. He's the guy who was in. Uh, if you're a big mystery science he's theater not a fan, principal. he's a teacher. He's a teacher. If you're a mystery science theater fan, he was in Agent for Harm, the yeah. James Bond ripoff. He's in a million TV shows. One of our friends is in this movie too. It's a side character. Which one? He he's the protege. Of one Andre Toulon. Okay. He's the guy from Puppet Master 4 and 5. Oh. The blonde guy. Oh. <laughs> I told you, I watched Puppet Master 5. I know, just and I never, I never finished it. That's why it's funny to me. Okay. I just got all the Puppet Masters on DVD. Don't make that face. All of them? I'm pretty sure it's all of them. Did, in one did, DVD. did they come in a U Haul truck? How, what number are they up to? <laughs> <laughs> Which okay. I have to go back because I saw it and I grabbed it and I didn't even look I, at it. I was like, eventually like one 16 day. Sixteen movies? There is like six. I think I was debating doing a worse puppet master movie. That would literally take a year to prepare. Well, I told you we'll just cut all the ones out that have reused footage in it. Nah, I right that. Out. Um but yes. Uh, they're all getting on the cruise to New York, even though it seems like Crystal Lake isn't that far from New York. Why don't they just drive? This or the fact that they've never been to New York. Yeah. Also, this fucking boat that was on Crystal Lake somehow drifts down river. Yeah. And just comes into this big channel. Yes. Yes. That's all I was like. Next to the so ocean. why is Jason Voorhees getting off this boat? I laughed out fucking loud when he jumps onto the boat and climbs up. And I'm like, why? Yeah. What is he doing? He's got to he's got to go kill people because there's a giant boat in. I don't know. Where it the, also where wasn't that big. If I, I was li listening to the commentary and stuff. They, they had a bigger boat and they weren't able to use it. So that boat, you never see it full size. They always show you like the front sure. or the back What's or they use though, a wide angle lens. But it's a lake. But yeah. that's exact, out, some lakes though, you can't have boats like that on. No, You're yeah. not allowed so to have. So the lake has to lead into the ocean. It's the, it is it the fucking down. Great Lakes? Like There's no way. And it would have to go down the Hudson. It would have to be. If you're thinking of where New Jersey, like if it fed in into New it? Jersey or even New York, it would have to be a lake that fed into, right? Yeah. Do they say they're in Crystal Lake or is it just a random river? No, they're, no, in, they're Crystal, in Crystal Lake. They're right in the at, beginning, it's Crystal Lake, but then the not Ralph, not Crazy Ralph, sees the fucking boat come in and it like apparently drifted down river, whatever the fuck that's supposed and to mean. And he says nothing about it. Doesn't yeah. think he's like, huh? Or, okay, I'll just shut up until like halfway through the movie and then yeah. say yeah. Jason Voorhees is back. <sighs> So, okay, so it's a lake. There has to be somewhere, and then it goes down the Hudson? But you would be able, if you're this close, because what was it? It was, how long would it have been for that boat to get to New York? 
less it took than them a like day. A day. Well, not even a day. Yeah. You would be able to at least be able to see the skyline. First of all, Jason gets woken up because the fucking anchor is dragging on the ground. Yeah. So that boat's not going anywhere, first of all. And second of all, <laughs> it's in the lake. So there's got... The, it's too shallow for that boat. It's too big. Yeah. So at some point, it's getting stuck and not going anywhere. Yes. Right? Yes. And the, and the big ship is called the Lazarus. Yes, it is. Because it's back from the dead. <laughs> By the way, what a terrible cruise ship. Like, like why is this it's a cruise a charter, ship of just, just a like, 10 kids? How big was the it, school? It reminds me of just like one of those New York City um yeah, you're going like fishing. The tour no, not even the fishing. They have these like little uh boats that that are actually that size where you can just have private parties on. I've done a lot of like events on those types of boats. They yeah. do have a party area. There is the that doesn't go places. away. They don't turn it it's just their constant 24/7 yes. party With room the music dancing. All the yes. way up. Yeah. Uh, Wait, you don't hear it anywhere else no. except as soon as you go yeah. through the doors. And uh, real, real quick on the music, I hate the fucking music in this. Manfredini does not come back. They do use one. some of his score and then they add like stuff to it. Yes, I just think uh. it doesn't it doesn't mesh well with it, in my opinion. Uh, but yes, the the setup is so stupid. It's um, dumb. We we are reaching so far. Yeah, and like you don't We're have trying. to. No, you don't. You know? No, and like just have good kills. That's all you really need. And think good of the characters and like fun. the characters suck. They're no fun. They're really bad. There's there's Air Guitar Girl who doesn't actually play the guitar. The no, fuck? actually, she. I mean, she's strumming along pretty well to it. I think. I guess. Yeah. But, but she like, wants so to make random. a music video with filmmaker guy who's in love with bitchy girl who's who's going to blackmail the professor who's the evil uncle of the other girl. It's and then so there's convoluted. and then there's Kelly Hu in her first film role. I like Kelly Hu. I like Kelly Hu. Mm -hmm. Uh and Which then she's she? Who? Uh, Asian girl. Oh, oh she I was, liked her. She was Lady Deathstrike in X-Men 2. Yeah. <gasps> oh shit. And Scorpion King, yes, she was yes, in a bunch yes, of Yes, yes, yes. This is her first film role. She did TV, and then you know, she did Surf Ninjas, and it was nothing but up from there. Um, <laughs> I, I, I would watch Surf Ninjas nine hundred times before this movie <laughs> again. Nah, nah, I'm picking. This I over. like. I'm I, picking I, this over I, Surf Ninjas. I like Surf Ninjas. So then, and then we have Boxing Guy, VC Dupree. Yes. Oh my uh, god. Who I actually really like. I yeah. liked until. Later. Miguel, <laughs> Miguel Nunez light. Yeah, he is yeah. kind of Miguel Nunez. Uh, who else is in this fucking piece of shit? Oh, the captain's son who forgets how to, like. You got to call in and tell him that it's just, oh you know, you, you we're leaving the well, port or some shit. Because he's going to be a captain I one got day? you. Look, the sexton and the digital bullshit. Here you go, kiddo. Why do I fucking you care? You don't. You don't. It was thrown it's, in there for no fucking reason. I think it's so supposed when to the, drive the boat later. I think it's so yeah. when he's on the rowboat, they know where to go. Like what? Yeah, it, it's we for plot. It. It's for plot. Let's throw some things. And then so there's creepy guy. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> yeah. Ralph? The, not Ralph? Not Ralph? The yeah. captain? Yeah. We got we got yeah. uh, sexy maintenance man. <laughs> yes. Yep. And then the dog, who the actress hated. <gasps> Did she really? Because the dog like Toby. Was, yeah, the dog was like not well behaved. She's like, I hated acting with that dog because it was like, please just sit down. It's two in the morning. <laughs> I want to go to bed. Oh. And the dog's like, what? What are we doing? Um, yeah, so it's mostly on this boat. And like, you could do Jason on a cruise ship, I but it's got to be like that. tropical cruise. And there's got to be a bunch of people. And you got to see like Hawaiian hats and stuff. I and the shuffleboard like thing. And the. <laughs> like Jack, Jack Ross, too. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Well, Jack Ross, too, is just a resort. <laughs> yeah. But I'm thinking like speed. Imagine if Jason was in Speed Two Cruise Control. Oh, That's man. the movie I want to see. The problem I have with him being on this boat is that it's not like this boat needs to be like a shittier boat or a better boat. Or, Either one, like a really good boat or like a shittier boat. But because you, I love all the stuff when they're like down the catwalks and the stairs yeah. and stairwells and stuff. There's really cool lighting stuff down there where where mm. the guitar chick gets killed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We don't get enough of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway. And then uh, f there's a recurring thing where the girl has visions of young Jason. Why are we doing the Tina thing this if we're not bringing dumb. Tina back? Exactly. Who is sometimes I, for a there, I was like, is this, this isn't Tina? Because at first I was like, oh, she's scared of yeah. something and she keeps seeing young. And I'm like, but this isn't Tina. I'm confused. Are we trying yeah. to think that this is Why Tina? is she? I know, she, I know it's revealed that she saw the ghost of Jason. Uh, no, I well, think it. I, I don't, she has that trauma thing later. Yeah. Where her piece of shit uncle like pushes her in the lake and she's like, you better swim or else Jason Voorhees is going to grab you. I think it was, uh, I, 
from well, what it can't I be thought young Jason it was. because she's kind of Tina's age, and adult Jason would have been a corpse in that lake by that point. But, yeah. she, but they're they're insinuating that she she has some kind of like psychic something or other. Because but she, like it's never explored, and they're like, remember that thing from the other movie? Yeah, fuck it, we'll throw it in. Yeah. Too. yeah. It's just bizarre, this whole thing with the young Jason. It's like, what are they going for Evan here? Evan wanted to explore young Jason, but they don't even really do that. No. They're just like, oh, there he is, and was, there he is. And, and he's, she met him when she was a kid, but it, that doesn't make sense. She didn't meet sense. him when she was a kid. But that doesn't make sense chronologically, so I guess it maybe doesn't. she just thought she saw him. But he, she's and being it psyched her out. Down. She was so scared. Yes. Also, I hate how the kid is like normal know? and then looks... Starts to look fucked up like later oh in the movie. My God, it's bizarre. Yeah, yeah they couldn't weird. land on it. Yes, but then uh, also, how would she know what young Jason looks like? That's a good point. How does that's she a know really good like? point. Maybe she doesn't. That's why he keeps changing. Yeah, yeah. Um, in her mind. Yeah. So it's just they're dicking around on this boat, and Jason teleports. <laughs> I don't. I, I think Jason looks cool in this one. I think Kane is good until in this his mask one. comes off. But yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Jack mm -hmm. her head. But. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Toxic waste. We'll yeah. talk about it. But uh, oh. Jason Voorhees, the description on the back of that box was something like he, he, you know, he's this devious yeah. being. He's just a killing machine. Yeah. Like yeah. they give him purpose in this kind of because he's like looking around for people and yeah. he's just like I don't know seeking people out, but also taking his time. Yeah. These all these motherfuckers should be dead in like the first twenty minutes of this. Yeah. Because yes. there's nowhere else for him to go. Except in a big circle, yes. you know? Uh, but he can teleport. He literally, there are scenes where oh, what, the, guys oh, the, climb, this, the guy's climbing the ladder. Mm -hmm. And then Jason's right behind him. And then my favorite is the old guy. He goes into the building. Jason walks into the door and like a second later he gets thrown out, which I thought was cool. But I'm like, how fast is he? There, there are pieces of this movie in a vacuum that I really like. No. I like the guitar kill. I like when he when he chokes out Kelly Who in the um yeah. the disco thing. Yeah. I, I love when he like has her and it's that wide shot and he just tosses her on the ground. Yeah. I thought that was cool. Is the sauna kill in this? Yeah. Yes. Yes, that one's cool. That one was fun. It seems like it was it, different. It's yeah. just like this is very super by the numbers. Yes. I feel like and very uninteresting. Like I'm waiting for the next one. And the director kill. keeps talking yeah. about how he wanted to like change things up and make a difference. Like, well, it we're wasn't. just doing the same you thing did on the a same boat. Fucking thing, dude. And, and then and you're throwing in the shitty uncle. That just got annoying. And, yeah. and you're teasing us with this New York thing that you will fail yeah, to deliver on. That's yeah. all you're waiting for this entire time. You're waiting for him to yeah. take Manhattan. So they eventually they all get off the boat. A bunch of people are dead. They get onto a raft, a lifeboat. A lifeboat. And they're like, they're they're, basi they're basically Ripley. They're like, we're gone. And I mean, I, Jason now has a big ship. I don't know if he knows how to steer did it, but Jason, he can go like, anywhere. Did Jason like hold on to like the, the, the rope hanging off and like just, you know, let them oh. row to, to, a, I, I to the he harbor? I swimming behind him. I need to know. <laughs> Jason is not intelligent, right? That's what I'm saying. He's it's debatable. Intelligent. It's debatable. Is he... Really? Do you do you know how to cut off the um, communication between the oh radio? Well, that could have been, that could have been an accident, but the fucking fire no, alarm is the one there. that pisses yeah. me but off. But he goes there and legit pulls it. Like it looks like he knows what he was he doing. Just so guessed. they really? Well, he's always pulling wires and stuff well, to no, cut no, communication. No, no, sure. But like the fire alarm was very deliberate. Yeah. Like he throws the camera guy into that fucking thing and it lights hey, look, on he fire. Made a, he made a shed in the woods with a working toilet. I don't see you doing that. He's, he's a zombie now though. Yeah. Hey, he's even smarter. <laughs> he learned a lot in the afterworld. <laughs> oh my God. He's watching Bob Vila, this old house yeah. in the in yeah. hell for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, so they get to New York. And apparently the the whatever fake hockey league is still selling dated hockey masks. That was so Just because they wanted the shot of him with the billboard. Wow. I do like him looking like, I mean, and he's fuck? probably thinking like, oh, wow, they're still selling these? These are really unsafe. <laughs> Wait, where's my royalty check? <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of a cool visual. But like, what's it the is New cool York? visual. This is, this is the, the like least populated New York City I've ever seen. Scene. Where in New York is it that they would have turned up? And I know it's the 80s New York where it's a lot grungier and dirtier yeah. and before yeah. they cleaned up the subways and stuff. Yes, I sure. understand that. Where did they end up docking? I don't what know. What part of fucking... I was like, is it Brooklyn? The, but that wouldn't even make sense. Well, they that were near They were near the Statue of Liberty. We are in New York. New York City. <laughs> but wouldn't 
didn't they? It depends on where they were coming up. Were they going? Because they were going down river, right? <laughs> were they going no, down no. river? Who knows? Dude, how did we, we go gotta, down river? Then we gotta ask river. Rob Head and be like, hey, can you draw us a fucking map? Yeah, can you draw us a map? You're not, go, you're not going up the Hudson River in a little robo. No. No. You're not. So you're going down. You would have hit Yonkers before all that. Yeah, you would have hit all of Sleepy Hollow and Chase Yonkers. Chase takes Yonkers. I would <laughs> yes. see that. So you're hitting the upper west side first before you hit what Jason looks takes like Jersey City maybe <laughs> exactly you would have hit fucking the upper west side before you yeah. would hit a yeah, wait, Brooklyn so, looking area do they like he lands in Tromaville that's what I yeah. want to see do yeah. they, so do they show Jason up downtown <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I would love that so they okay alright so they, <laughs> they they pull up they get out that's how much I want to talk about this uh, 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 junkies 80s punk junkies grab her and they're gonna give her heroin or something. Something make her hallucinate. It's fucking I bizarre, dude. He, they shoot her up a reagent in the fucking alley. Yeah, and like then green. and then like, yeah. don't come after her. And then the asshole uncle's like, they'll kill her if we go after her. It's like you pussy. Uh, <laughs> well, but yeah. but then the director's talking about. It. It's like, yeah, it was kind of interesting to see Jason as the hero. It's like, but he's what? been trying to kill her, and he will continue to try and kill her. Why is this scene shot heroically? Also, why is he going after her? There's no connection to her. And I mean, tangentially with the visions, but the one who it got away. The only like, thing I can think of He's in was, New York now. Go yeah. anywhere. That's what I mean. Like, he should he, be slaughtering everybody. His whole point of Jason is to kill anyone at Crystal Lake for revenge. Yeah, on is the it? I feel like they, they, they got a little loose with the rules. I, I know, know. But, 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 they, but they, they've been pretty good about that no. being yeah. in and around that area but then no. he but in every other but, movie he's not going after specific people he just murders to murder yeah. whoever's around yeah yeah whoever's around right exactly yeah. so he's opportunistic so yeah. it's not like he has a vendetta against i don't know this this fucking april o'neill look-alike yeah yeah because it starts dude it starts to feel like that a little bit and i'm like are the turtles gonna come in and save her <laughs> yeah. we have a message for you that would have been awesome yeah right but oh yeah. my god, Ninja Turtles vs. Jason, sign me up. There's so, so many vs. Jasons I want to say. So yeah, it's mostly... Casey, like, is that you? Yeah, it's mostly <gasps> alleyways. Jason, that would be great. <laughs> it's mostly alleyways and him fighting the junkies. We get the great boxing match. <gasps> Holy fuck, it's the a, longest fucking it, boxing vacuum, match. Yeah, it's cool. But also, there's a window right there. How did he not box him into the... I was waiting for that. There's the glass. How did he not... Bo I thought no, he was trying no. to box him into I, that window. I love this scene where he's just punching him nonstop. It's and cool. also, why doesn't Jason do it? Like, he's just like, oh, he's not going to do anything. I thought Jason just wants to kill to kill. No, I, Jason wanted to flex. Him? And he's like, hit me as much as you want. And then <laughs> he's like, boom. The head comes the off. Head it goes into the dumpster. The dumpster yeah. You get the head vision of it flipping. <laughs> that scene was cool. But if it was going to be in Madison Square Garden, that'd be a more cool. I mean, um, how fucking ridiculous that would that have yeah, been? Yeah. So, so then they go to t he kills the uncle and everything. There's the revelation and whatnot. Uh, they make it to Times Square. There are cops all over were Times in, Square. Well, they go into the subway first. That's how they got into uh, Times Square. Is they were on the subway. Oh, by the way, so that scene of them coming out of the subway, that's not actually like a subway ramp, so they're crouching and pretending no they're walking shit. up. They reveal that in the commentary. I'm like, that's pretty funny. Also, I like how everyone on the like, I get it. It's New York. If something's happening, you just don't look. Like, everyone well, ignores it. Not in Times but, Square. No, I'm saying on the subway itself. During oh, right. that subway thing. That subway scene is cool, though. It is kind of cool. Yeah. Just to see him walking through it. Yeah. Yeah, but also everyone's just like, they don't Whatever. even look up. So that's a fun New York he's thing. Got a smell. That that's a fun New York thing. Him on the, the subway. Mm. We get him in Times Square. They shot one night in Times Square, just to do the gag with the boombox, I guess. Yeah, where that he shows so them their, his face and they run away. Yo, man, it's cool. It's cool, man. It's cool. Why would he show while, his while face? The song is playing. Why would he do that? So he's conscious of the fact that he's a fucking zombie killer? Yeah. And he's like, oh yeah, look, look at this. And he doesn't have time to kill them. So he's going to show them their scary face. How is he not killing everyone around him? Why didn't he kill By everyone the way, on the subway? Again, look, Why I wasn't there in the age. Jason vs. Punkers would have been a great scene. I wasn't not there. Not the heroin guys, yeah. but like these kids with like the chain and the knife and shit. Every time I've been to Times Square, maybe the 80s were different. There's just cops everywhere. They literally have like a police station there. Yeah. I mean, Times Square, yeah. 
And by the way, I know you're talking about like the asshole New Yorkers who don't care, but again, maybe the 80s are different. Times Square is all tourist. That's all tourist. Yeah, oh, yeah. the 80s is it, because you have like 42nd Street and that was all porno theaters and stuff like that. I guess like Yeah, yeah. before Rudy Giuliani ruined it. Damn. <laughs> what a dick. I guess at 89, New York. That's part of, uh, you know, Oh Hello and Nick Kroll and John Mulaney. They play those two characters. Oh, they no. do that all the time. They're like, Giuliani ruined oh my God. New York. That just don't on me. Yeah, it's not even like early 80s. No. New York, it's, it's like 89. It's New 90s, New York. New York. Yeah. 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 But yeah, so we get them in Times Square for a minute. We get them going into a diner, which honestly could have been anywhere. The and they don't thing, even do any. Like the diner's just like they literally get up so casually. And I'm they like, go. They go in there for that for that waitress to have a bad New York accent. Welcome to New York. Like, yeah. yeah. Whatever. Uh, yeah. You know. Yes, I, New York. This ain't Vancouver. This ain't Vancouver. <laughs> Y'all. I do like Ken Kersinger's just like, oh, I'm gonna be Jason one day, and then he gets his yeah. ass fucking handed to him. Yeah. So we so we get a diner, we get Times Square, we get a subway, and we get a rooftop. And then we get a I'm fucking only sewer, dude. I'm only counting the subway in Times Square as like real New Yorkery. Uh the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> It's, yeah, but you they don't do anything me? at the Statue of Liberty. No, they're there. Well, there's <laughs> they an established shot. They just shot. swing past there's it. There's the no, necklace. Like, That's the way that oh they're God, able. The fucking, the necklace. fucking necklace. But Jason's not like there. I am so confused. Like towards, what is it? that they get off near the Statue of Liberty? Yeah. If they across got off, from it. No, if they got off across from the Statue of Liberty, you're all the way far, far down by where like the- um, I was going to say, they got to be like downtown. That, you're down downtown. Because Statue of Liberty is right across from like where like Jersey City is. Then yeah. all of a sudden you're like where um, but the financial district. Yeah. That's not. That's a hike. How the fuck did you get down there to Times Square off a tiny little subway ride? That's a bit <laughs> of a beast. Yeah. You gotta go through Tribeca, all of that. You I've know? done it many times. Yeah, I li like I lived in Jersey City and I worked in yeah. New York. Yeah. Like. They clearly you don't, don't know anything about the city because no. they, I love their interpretation of it. It's just like, everything's toxic waste and drugs. Yes, all right, so I was gonna ask. So you, you've spent more time in New York than me. Yes. Um. Now, now does, I, I don't know, I've never been in the sewer system. Do you guys usually flood rivers of toxic waste you better get out of sewer at Everything 10 p.m.? is toxic, oh, like, no. Oh, we not, gotta go. It's not like a normal, like, it's no. Like, we gotta go because this is the time where the toxic waste uh, waterfall yeah. fucking blows through here. And I know yeah. toxic yeah. waste was like a, there was like a concern of like, you know, people just like, people getting rid of stuff. Not yeah, they did carefully. it in the Hudson River if they did it. Half the yeah. time they just threw it right into yeah, the river. But, but they weren't, it's disgusting. there weren't like yeah. planned streams of Boiling no. acid, toxic waste no. through the sun. But I don't live in New York. No. If you're well, in New York, no. Ramon is down there. New York actually has some of the best tap water, FYI. Oh. Is it really? Yeah. New York City actually has some of the, uh, New York, New York City actually has some of the best tap hmm. water. We get it. You're in New York. You're walking here. Anyway, what were you saying, Joe? <laughs> I said Ramon's down there. Yeah. The alligator. Ramon, he's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> but the guy who's Fucking down there, actually, the guy's down there, that's a pretty good shadow kill. I like shadow kills. No, that is a good one, but it's just kind of like. Yeah, but like you see, he he's there to be like, don't be in the way to toxic waste wave. See ya. Wait, how did they get down there again? They climbed down the hole, the manhole, I think. Why don't they just go literally anywhere else? Literally anywhere. Find a cop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing, too. Like, it's such a big city and there's so many people. Why are we going into the fucking sewer? Because they don't have New York City. Yeah, but they have Vancouver. They also, can like, do something else. They just yeah, there's there's tons of shows that use Vancouver to be everything. That's what I mean. But like when when you're when you're not showing this big sweeping wide shot yeah. of of, uh, of uh, um like the city and what the city and yeah. shit just and it's just buildings like you can't really tell the difference. But but they spent most of their budget doing the boat stuff because yes. they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. And I'm still not. Sure, why the fuck he tried to do both things? I don't know, but you he should, said- should have been two totally different movies. Or just, yeah. So he said that he wanted to do Jason and sprayed in the face with toxic waste. So we never really got a good look at his face because it would be bubbling and boiling. So dumb. Yeah, and it would look weird at, on purpose. But what I really think is that's an excuse because the makeup's just really bad. I think it was it's a, pretty bright down there too, FYI. Oh Maybe yeah, ten o'clock at night in New York City. <laughs> in, a in a sewer. Well, they have lights everywhere in the sewer. But no, like, Jason looks horrible in this. I mean, he's like, I, I, without with the mask on, I think he looks pretty good. No, yeah, with yeah. the mask on. But I don't. Even, I I looked up the effects people, and it nobody rang a bell, and no. I was 
puzzled by that because I, I, you know, I don't know. Also, Jason screams when he gets the acid on his face. He, <laughs> he's been shot multiple times, hung. It's not as bad. As on fire. It got in his mm. one eye, Tony. Yeah, you but you all people should know this. He gets sprayed with the thing and then he goes. <laughs> and I'm like, why are you now screaming? He doesn't yell when he's caught on fire or anything, but. Yes. Why does he transform into a kid? Okay, I okay. I wouldn't know why he goes, why he says, I was at Mama Help Me. Yes. So that literally took me out so much, and it sounded like a kid. So this is like, the ending of the film. So uh, what's his what? face? What's the guy's name? Bob. Rob Hedden. Mm. He wanted this to be the definitive ending for Jason, even though he knew they were going to bring him back. So he's like, if let's we, kill him with toxic waste. If you kill him as an adult, people are going to know he comes back. So like, let's have him drown because Jason drowned. Uh, in the toxic ways, but no! we see him. It's a dumb idea. We no! see him turn into a kid to no! show that his evilness is gone. And by the way, first off, he starts like spitting up water before the toxic. Oh waste. yeah, the like, mess is up. He's like, oh, oh, oh. he's like, Puke but he's like water. swimming constantly. Why can't he swim in the he's toxic ways? He's in the waste? water when he wakes up. So he's he melted. Was, well, he, he is dissolved. He had I will to say, literally swim in the Hudson oh, to get there. That's I will what it say was. He, he is finally dissolving. took that, He took his mask off and yeah. he had to get that shit out of his chest. Yes. You know? gotcha. Now, you know what else was going to come out of his chest? They shot it. Uh, by the way, the editor's son is the young Jason. You know what I'm about to talk about? Go ahead. They were going to do a close up on Jason's mouth and they <sighs> built a giant mouth and had the young Jason oh. crawling out of his mouth. So it was going to be like young Jason crawls out of his body and then grows normal size. And then he's there. And then they just leave him there. But they cut out the mouth thing. They thought that was too much. And on the DVD or the Blu-ray, it's kind of funny. Kane Hodder's like, I just want to clear something up. I never said I hated the ending. I just said it could have been better. And I'm like, I don't think anyone's yelling at you for that. It's a terrible ending. It's well, so it's stupid so and confusing. But he's he like he like defends himself where he's like he's like you know I I, I read the script and I knew it wasn't that great, but it did it anyway. And it's like it's okay, Kane. Like everyone's you're playing, I mean, even the director now is yeah. like, yeah, you know, it, it was, was his first fucking movie. It was supposed to be more New York. I guess we screwed up. <laughs> you think? think? Yeah. Buy clock stoppers on Blu Ray now. Um, I will say one thing we forgot to talk about. Uh, the marketing for this movie, it was is awesome. The New York Tourism Bureau, yeah. hated the I Heart New York poster. Oh, they I like bet. demanded they, to take I it down. Bet. They turned it into that, um, because yeah, that, they turned it into that because that promo poster, man, of him ripping through the I Love New York thing, it's is awesome, iconically awesome. It's awesome. And then um, they promoted the show by having Jason go on the Arsenio Hall show, where Arsenio's asking him questions, He's and just Jason just never answers. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. What happened? What's up? <laughs> Which, by the way, should have been in the movie. Like, he should have wandered onto like the set of the Arsenio the Hall, Hall show. Yes. And like, like, hey, man, what's up? Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> and again, <laughs> Jason, imagine Jason going whoop, 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 whoop. That would have been awesome. <laughs> it's, the, it's the eighth movie. Yeah. Everybody knows who Jason is. It's yeah. a household fucking thing. Yeah. Why wouldn't you pump it with like shit like that? You know yes. what I mean? If we're going to do the stupid fucking New York thing, let's go full on. Let's go full ham with it. Yeah. You're going to try and have fucking <sighs> yeah. celebrity Square. cameos. And yes. Stuff like that. Yeah. Yes. That's what you would want to yeah. do. And they Instead don't do of it. Random yeah. Jason walking down the street. Like, no, it, it, no problem at like, all. Have whatsoever. fun with it. Like I said, that, and we, then we don't all grandly fucking shows up FYI at the fucking end. I'm like, what the fuck? We don't what get the fuck. We don't get any like Ninja Turtle things. Like, I would have loved to see Jason get hit by a car and they'd be like, oh my god, what was that? And he's like, uh, I don't know, look like a guy in a hockey mask. You going to LaGuardia? Something you know, like that. Like Getting hit by a fucking taxi would or have been something. Like, yeah. Getting hit by a taxi. There's yeah. one cop who like puts them in the back seat. That whole scene sucks. Oh, with, oh there, there is oh a good joke god. where they're like, I'm sure he'll turn up and then the heads in the thing. Uh, That's him getting cheap. And it's like, okay. Yeah, I don't what? feel like Jason would do He went into that dumpster and got that head out. Yeah, he did. And then put There's it in the cop quite car. quite a few times, too. I think even in the previous movie where he's playing around the body. Well, remember, he, he, had, hide, he, he hides them in the earlier movies so that nobody sees them. Well, remember, he, does, he is, plays around with them in the uh, previous movie, though. He, he, he can do, it, them. He can do this pretty easily, guys. Because maybe. He can do this pretty easily because he can teleport. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Which, again, 
is a feature in the video game. I love that they work that in. It's just like they stopped trying with this one. They're just like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. and they should have tried hard. Just don't do the Manhattan thing. It's If dude, you're going to be that big of a letdown. Why not just have fun with it? Yeah, yeah. Make it get corny. it. Make it corny at that point. Look. Make it another six. Look, Godzilla 98. Not very good. I know I have a shrine <laughs> for it. But he's in Madison Square Garden. He's he's knocking <laughs> he's the to Chrysler yeah. building metal, down. Man. Yeah. I mean, he looks nothing like Get Godzilla. Fucking sponsors, like at that point. That too. Have yeah. break into like a McDonald's or something. Yeah. Somebody's eating a Big Mac and they <laughs> drop it. You could it's just Anything. so much could have been that. And like I said, and other murder movies. Everyone. Not just he's literally around tons and tons of people. That was the thing to do. Yeah. And other movies I've learned from this. I will say Predator in LA. The only thing he doesn't do in LA in Predator 2 is like Hollywood stuff. We'll talk about that. We will. We will. <laughs> but I'm saying that's an example. Sure. Like he spends a lot of time in downtown LA and all that shit. He's not like, it's not like, yeah, we're in LA. I'm going to be in the woods or the mountains the whole time. It's like, well, okay. That's not really what we want to see. Predator should have been on Hollywood Boulevard. But anyway. <laughs> He's hanging out. Yeah. Maybe. That now I think about it. Now I, yeah, you know what? Predator 2 fucked up also. Anyway. Um, well, in yeah. this though, doesn't the, there's, oh, so, oh there's, there's the storm. Doesn't the lightning hit the Statue of Liberty? Is that, what is that? So, so I don't know what. The, Was that what I, turned him into a kid? Again, the narrative, <laughs> the, maybe. The narrative, the narrative here that, uh, what's his name? Rob is trying to yeah. tell. Um, with the kid, like, like the juxtaposition of the kid with like grown up Jason and shit. And then like, it's evil question mark yeah. and then when when the toxic waste melts him or whatever uh, i don't know his soul goes into the sky and the, the lightning strikes yes, i'm so confused with the lightning i mean there's so much electricity in this goddamn shit it's almost as if with, it's it's almost as if it's a bad movie yeah what no i wouldn't go that far. And, so to your point of before like how many people like this and stuff like this is probably one of the worst entries in this series by far yeah and yeah. i think a lot of people like this one because it's one of the latter entries that they might have grown up with. Yeah, it played on TV a lot. I, I think that's like, I think there's like this nostalgia thing for this one in particular, mm -hmm. because like I, for a Friday 13th movie, this fucking sucks. Yes. There's so many other entries to watch instead of this one. And it could have been yeah. interesting if they fully committed to the New York thing and they don't. Yeah, yes. or made it, it doesn't even feel like a Friday movie. Is this to the, the point where- It really doesn't. Which no. is even more bizarre. Yeah. it. Jason's just like there. But it did not do one? well. Huh? The longest one? Oh, this I don't know. Is, the runtime, you mean? Yeah. It feels long. Yeah. It it's feels over long. an hour and a half. I think it's like almost like an hour 45. Yeah. So this does very poorly at the box office. I mean, it made It'll its figure. money back, but yeah. compared to the other ones. I think it was like 16 with a 14 million budget or something like that. Yeah, yeah. it's a diminishing returns. Paramount's like, we're done. They shot themselves in the foot twice. Yeah. And this was the nail. Yeah, so they were like, hey, New Line. You don't have the name yet, but you can have the character Jason go nuts. <laughs> and New Line's like, yes, we have Jason. Well, let's do Freddy vs. Jason, baby. We're doing it. We have Jason and Freddy. Oh, we killed Freddy? We just killed Freddy. All right, well, we have Jason, <sighs> and we're going to kill him. Presumably to send him to hell so they can meet for a movie that I'm sure will come out shortly after. Sure. They're definitely not going to make... Two other movies to <laughs> fill in the time gap. That but was yes. Cunningham's plan. That's what he wanted. Yes, and we've got Jason goes to help. First off, I fucking love this color cover. Oh, it's so it is not too. in the movie. Um, it, that no. demon worm is not in the movie. No. That silver mask is never in the movie. No. No. I remember getting that video poster from Video Time, the guy Bob yeah. who worked there. I think I told the story on the Movie Announcer before, but I yeah. got the video poster from uh, that store. Yeah, so... so cool, um, I like this one. This movie's rules. I like okay, okay, so you like... So yeah. was this part of your binge, or did you see this no, later this on? No, this is part of it, too. Okay, okay. I didn't appreciate it till later, because this was one of the... Same thing with part five, where it's like, yeah. oh, that's not really Jason, and, like, Jason only shows up in the beginning and the end, but, like, going back to this... Yes. Even before for this review, it's just like, not only does it, it do its own thing, where it's fresh and fun, but like it's also directed. Uh, uh, Reed is like a, a Marcus Reed, right? Directed this one? Uh, no. Uh, Adam Marcus. Adam Marcus, excuse me. I don't know. Who went on to, re to uh, went on to direct the the movie Secret Santa? Yes. And he wrote, Joe, get ready for this. He wrote or co-wrote Texas Chainsaw 3D. I know. 
which oh, I think we all agree shit. is not the worst one. But keep going. No, uh, but uh, um, Adam Marcus um, is a huge fan of the series. Yeah. And he's basically Sean Cunningham's J.J. Abrams as to mm. Spielberg, yes. right? Yes. Um, so Cunningham was like, oh, what do you want to do for this? And he's like, well, what do you want to do? He's like, I want to win an Academy Award. I don't think we're going to do that with a fucking Friday the 13th. Yeah. But what he did was made like the ultimate fan film. I think that's true. In the beginning. The I don't think the fans wanted a demon worm. I know I didn't when I was watching it. Well, uh, what is this? Well, well, that was the whole thing where like, where like Cunningham was like, get rid of the fucking mask. Oh, yeah. That was the big one. That's what he came up with? Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, it's such a fucking bizarre thing. It's I mean, we'll get so into it, but like weird. the ties to like how they tie it up with like Evil Dead and shit like that. Yes, it's, it's, it just does. It's, that's, I think they, that's what, as soon as you just said that, I'm like, dude, that's why I love this one so much. Well, I, I, I love it's, the concept. The fucking kills are awesome, especially in that yeah. unrated cut. Yes. Um, I, um, and it feels like a Friday movie. It Even does. though Jason isn't in it's for a majority corny, of it. And you know it's corny. Yeah. Well, you know it's corny. I, I'm talking about the way it's shot. Yes. The way it's shot, all of it. Yeah, though, the I lighting, uh, the music, of yes, course. Yes, all of it feels like yeah. it, but it still has that corny vibe where you're not taking it so seriously. Like the other. Agreed. Other but ones. it's also out to prove the point that they didn't. They tried to not have the mask yeah. and Jason, yeah. like, well, you let know, me, let me be, tell you, be the main focal point. Let me tell you something about this movie. My cousin rented it. Yeah. And, my, and this also happened with Return of the Living Dead. My cousin mm. ran into it. We all watched it. Ten minutes of the movie, my grandfather went, nah. This, <laughs> this movie's sick. This movie. And he, we, he let us watch a lot of stuff. Yeah. But I think the sex was a little too gratuitous. No. There's a lot of gratuitous shit. In and this. I remember. Oh, so, I I remember it. so I'm being a kid. I'm a kid. I'm watching Jason 9. Jason goes to hell. I've, <laughs> I've been seeing the poster and the tape and whatnot. I'm like, I really want to know how he gets to hell. This is the first one that adopts the, the Jason moniker. Yes, because they couldn't use Friday the 13th. So I'm like, all right, how does Jason get to hell? What does he do in hell? Does he make friends in hell? That's how what I was is he in too. hell? Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. I'm watching. He gets blown up. I'm like, okay, now we're going to hell. <laughs> no. Uh, we go to the coroner office, and then... The coroner eats his oh heart, my God. and I went, "What? It's fucking yep. bizarre!" I'm like that doesn't so seem right. Weird. And then we got to the the really gratuitous sex scene in the tent, and when she died, my grandfather turned it off. And then it took five or six years for me to finally buy the tape and oh. figure out how the movie ended. Dude, can be crushed. This movie, it, the, yeah. that that tent kill is yeah. one of the best of the whole. Although series. when you freeze frame it, it's like she's already cut. So what? Yeah, it's pretty it's cool. Fucking cool. No, she splits in half. Apparently, and we can't show any of this because she's super naked. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. Apparently, a little hockey mask over the boob. <laughs> you can show the gore, but not the, apparently not the those boobs. two, show those boobs. two actors, from what I was reading, they yeah. were like a couple before the movie, but they had broken up. So then they had to like. No wonder it's awkward. Then they both like got the role. They're like, oh shit. Um, yeah, but let me read the back of the box here. Yes, please. Jason Voorhees, the living, breathing essence of evil, is back for one fierce. Final fling. Ooh, I, don't I, know like I, all, I like all that alliteration, though. I don't know <laughs> if I would call his previous uh, escapades flings or escapades. <laughs> uh, tracked down and blown to bits by a special FBI task force. Everyone now assumes that he's finally dead. But everybody assumes wrong. Jason has been reborn with the bone chilling ability to assume the identity of anyone he touches. That's, no, not, that's, that's not, not how that that's works. That's not true at all. Anybody he French kisses. <laughs> yes. The terrifying truth is he could be anywhere or anybody. I've seen the thing. We'll, we'll talk about that. In the shocking blood soaked finale to Jason's carnage, ridden reign of terror, the horrible secret of his unstoppable killing instinct is finally revealed. No, uh, not that. outright. Yeah. You no. got to connect the dots, and that's if yeah, you do. That's assuming you've seen three completely different, unrelated films. <laughs> yes, and once you know the chilling facts, you'll see them in your nightmares. Oh, is that uh, is that winking? Uh, but yeah. doo, doo, and he'll doo. see you in hell. <laughs> so, uh, and again, special collector's edition, unrated director's cut, original. Yes. Woo. Even though it still cuts out a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, like TV stuff, you mean? Uh -huh. What do you mean? Like this stuff that was for like the extended TV cuts? Yeah, I'm talking about like the, the demons and whatnot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're getting Oh, geez, yeah. Uh, so, yes. Um, well, I, I want to say. What, the, do you like this one? 
I've grown we to appreciate it. It is okay. kind of fun. It is fun. It is kind of fun. It's, it's just fun. not very Jason-y, but the effects are great. No, yeah. but it's fun. Uh, it actually has some decent characters for the most part. Like they're trying to make you care about the characters. I think they do a pretty good job. What's it with Aaron Gray? One second. I got to spray nasal stuff no, no, in my nose. I got to spray nasal stuff in my nose. No, you're good. <sighs> sorry, oh sorry. my God, such a diva. I hope a demon mm. worm doesn't take me over. <laughs> Oh God! Tony's gonna come back with like a if we see a blood smear, right? Yeah, Is that, yeah. He's gonna something. be yeah, and he's gonna be all shaved. Yeah, and he's gonna, <laughs> Tony's gonna get I don't strapped down why and shaved. Gonna be shaved. Like what the fuck? I guess I could just talk about it now. <laughs> if it doesn't get cut out, uh, I'll talk about it again. But that whole fucking scene where he straps the the, the so deputy weird. down yeah. and like shaves him on the table and like stirrups and he was yeah. naked. Yeah, uh, it's uh, like it got kinky. Marcus was just like. Oh, yeah, we just thought it was fucking weird. He wasn't even supposed to be naked or shaved. They were just like, yeah, we just wanted to make the audience uncomfortable. And it was like, well, you did it. I, I don't know what like the hell they that shaved has. the face. They shaved the balls. <laughs> oh, my God. That's why he's naked. Because <laughs> they shaved his balls. There you go. There's your manscape, yes! Dad Tone. Jason wants his balls shaved. With if manscaped. they sign up for another ad. <laughs> anyway, so the beginning of the film, I'm back now. I don't have allergies. I'm feeling great. Awesome. <sighs> the beginning of the film has Julie Michaels, aka the bad guy's girlfriend from Roadhouse. Oh, that was oh, only shit. one step to Roadhouse. Yes. She is so hot. She was, um, I believe she was Pamela Anderson's bot, uh, stunt double for years. Seriously, I did not know that. Yes. Uh, like on Baywatch and shit? Yeah. Uh, barbed wire. Or like barbed wire. Barbed I think. wire, yes. So yeah, I like that whole scene in the beginning. I like how it's purposely cliche. Can we review barbed wire? It's, it's kind of cool. Maybe. Oh, like Tank that. Girl just did okay. But anyway. <laughs> now Jason in this one is... Fucked. Like his face is a fuse to the mask. I don't know where oh, there they, he is. I don't know where they. Oh! <laughs> yeah. He 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 must have. So what happened in between part eight and part nine? He grew into a man again. Mm -hmm. uh, he made it back to Crystal Lake. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a little melty, but that's okay. Yes. So melty. he's got he got a new mask. He got he's got yeah. He and he eyes? regrew his left eye back. He did. But yeah. but in between films, he suffered another eye injury where his other eye got destroyed. So oh, damn. But I love how like the brain is growing around the strap. It looks yeah, like pizza to me. Oh man. Yeah, it does. It looks like pizza. It's like Freddy Krueger Jason. And he got the world's oldest machete because it has a cobweb on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh I love the look of this Jason. It's like it's pretty cool. gnarly. Yeah, I think the, and the only iteration that we've gotten of this Jason, like for a collectible or anything, was do you remember those dispensers had them? Those like twenty inch dolls. Yes, there was a Crypt Keeper. I have the Michael Myers one, and they had. A I have the Michael Myers. Oh, you one, do? Yeah. yeah, they have a Jason Goes to Hell. My buddy Bill Marshall has it. Yeah, uh, I always thought it was a cool looking Jason. I like that. Like, well, he's got some of his skin back, but he's still looking pretty rough. Yeah, um, I love how they kill him in the beginning. It's fucking cool. They are just. They're just it's, annihilating. Because you always yeah. think about that in the movies. Like, why don't they just blow them up? Right. Well, that's that's the thing with this. It's like, this should have been part eight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if we're going to go fucking crazy and do something different, this is this is really it. Because it's all like, out. all right. But yeah, uh, the whole, uh, like, think, oh, we never get to see his face until the video game. They made, like, what his face was supposed oh, to did look they? like. Yeah. You ever played the video game? I played the video game. Yeah, you can knock his mask off, and he's got the. He's, it's mostly I don't a skeleton. Know I, I don't know if I played as Goes to Hell. Yeah, it's mostly a skeleton face, and okay. they they swap the eyes, they fix the eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah, because uh, a fan complained. <laughs> um, <laughs> Good job, fan. So yeah, um, so he gets blown up. He gets sent to the coroner where Kane Hodder is one of the security officers. Yeah, uh, with him and his bad mullet. Crystal, did did you know that this was gonna happen going in? What did you know about this movie? Oh, this was your first time I, you ever saw this? Yeah, I okay. actually, this one I actually knew nothing of. <laughs> I've seen bits and pieces of the other two. I just so you knew, weren't I even knew aware like that he's little, like not in it that much or anything. You you had no idea. I actually really I I really didn't know anything about it. Were you like <sighs> what the fuck when they blew him up? I had so much fun. <laughs> After watching these in Did a row, imagine? literally, now, soon as the one ended, yeah. I started the other one. So yeah. I was like, I'm not going to end up watching these yeah. in time. It made me so happy. Well, it, everything just from the beginning was making me happy. I'm like, okay, they're back in the cabin. All right. Oh, it's a hot chick. Sweet. Okay. We're getting the vibe back. And all of a sudden they blow up. And I was like, this is going to be good. <laughs> I'm down. So 
was that your reaction when the guy ate the heart and then the spirit I was went in into my him? kitchen doing dishes and I was doing and I looked and like he's like eat, I was like all right here we go okay here's everyone else's <laughs> reaction what the fuck what <laughs> I what? Oh god! This is how you could tell. I know Sean Cunningham like produced it, yeah. but you could tell this is New Line with their Freddy stuff. This feels more like a Freddy movie. Um, I see. You got the see energy you going into him. I, the lighting effects are awesome in this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. When They're the light, really like, how cool. the lights shoot up. I, I feel, thought it's a great I effect. Feel like K and B must have had practicals in that yeah. chess piece, and then just married it with like. Uh, I feel like it would have been way too hard to CGI light at that point. Yeah. Well, it's all still roto. What year in. is this? Yeah. At that point, this is ninety three, I yeah. believe. Yes, because mm -hmm. Freddy's Dead is ninety one. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I feel like everyone gets to the coroner scene and they go, "What." And then we get the I know news. my wife did. She was like, wait, what? Then we get to the news section. Uh, and the guy's like, yes, Jason is dead. But this bounty hunter says he's not dead. That Crane was, Duke. Yeah. And Duke. Crane Duke, played by Stephen Williams, who was uh, great in the X-Files and a bunch of other stuff. awesome in this. Recently, this was, recently I saw him in uh, the It remake. He's uh, the one guy's like uncle or dad. Oh, oh he's like his uncle. With the, gu with the gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh shit! I didn't this, know that was him. Yeah, am I gonna am I gonna steal your thunder by saying this? Go ahead. It, this was supposed to be Tony Todd or Tony Todd audition <gasps> oh, for it. You're fucking cool. kidding me. Yeah, like the, I I mean I really like Steve Williams in as Creighton Duke, but yeah. like it would have been interesting to see Tony. That Todd. That would have been a different take. vibe though. Yeah, but because he plays it like a straight up dickhead. Tony Todd Steve has Williams. so much. Yeah, Jason Voorhees. But <sighs> here's the thing. So they cut out a lot of Stephen Williams' backstory. There's a backstory where him and his girlfriend when he was a teenager, which I guess was, I guess would have been around, I don't know, part four, which I guess in this movie was like 30 years ago. I, by the way, I think we're in the year uh, 5,000 now. Good, okay. Uh, Timeline wise. Right. Is, that yeah. the un, is that the unrated director's cut has that in there? No, no, no. It was never filmed. None no, no, of this no, no, was no, ever no, filmed. No, but they mention it. No. Yes, they do. What? They never they mentioned. straight up mention Creighton Duke. Uh, he's like, Oh yeah, Creighton Duke. He was on a lake with his girl, or whatever, and had to run in with Jason. They do. Yeah, it's definitely in the movie. Whether it's spouted by the the new the dickhead news guy or himself, I'm not sure which. I'm, one. I just rewatched this. Upset, I literally like, watched it this you morning. Remember me? Like the so rest. Of well, that's the thing. Him. At the end, that's why it's so confusing with the remember me. It's everyone. Jason should I be think, like, uh, No, I'm unfamiliar with who you <laughs> I bet are. Twenty bucks. Oh, shit. Twenty bucks. I bet you twenty dollars. Jessica. <laughs> Jessica. What is it? <laughs> Here we go. Look Jessica, wait, 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 twenty bucks. He doesn't do well on his deals, though, because he still has not taken me and Johanna out here's, to here's the 20. a restaurant. Oh, okay. Cold, hard cash. Well, I, I learned from my good no. friend. Oh, damn. I learned from my good friend, Carl, from Who Are These Podcasts and the Creep Off. He gets to do uh, he has to do consequences on his show, but he always is, is late to doing his consequences. Um, so are you saying Johanna and I are just going late to going to dinner that you're paying for? Okay, I really gotcha. hope I didn't read that as a trivia fact. <laughs> way, I I'll, hope I'll so. I'll tell you the 20. Totally wrong. <laughs> I think you're wrong. I think that was supposed to be part of the backstory that ever made it into the movie. But anyway. I thought they, I, I could have swore he said it as. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so he's sitting there and he's just like, Jason, he wears bodies like clothes. He may get blown up, but this is a little minor inconvenience for him. He'll just get himself another body. You gotta kill his heart and stuff. And I'm like, I'm how does he this. know any of this? Are his fingers broken? Because he's never done it before. <laughs> uh, yeah, has he done it? Is that, was that like your way of like... This. I read I read the Necronomicon, Tony. I know. Yeah. <laughs> how does he know any yes. of this? It know. makes no sense how he knows this. Because it's like, never I, happened. This is the first time this This is literally happened. the first time this has happened as yeah. far as we're aware. And okay, because so by the way, how many other Voorhees would there be? Uh, I, okay, it okay. does get ridiculous with the spoiler sisters, brothers. Uh, well, name. originally it was going to be Jason's brother, who was named Elias, and then they switch in, which this was movie. kind of cool because it was that thing where he like digs him up, yeah, and then like eat, and then he eats his heart and becomes Jason or something that like that. Would yeah. have been interesting. Yeah. Okay, why did they, why would they bury Jason again? I don't know. They know it didn't work out well last I don't time. Know. Um, yeah, so they're like, okay, Jason, you can, you can bear bodies and I'm going to kill him. And everyone should be like, well, that guy's insane. Well, he can't yes. kill them because only a Voorhees could kill a Voorhees. So then why yes. is he saying that he can kill them? He only so, he can kill. He knows exactly. how to kill them. So the Jason, only man who knows. Jason has a sister that was never mentioned or brought up. 
before. She's totally fine with her mother passing. Maybe she hated her and mom. And by, by the way, in the timeline of these films, uh, this woman should be like 10,000 years old. Uh, well, <laughs> well, the dad, to yeah. your point, the dad from Critters is in this. And he's old, but Erin yeah. Gray's in it too. And I don't know how old she is, but she's still hot because yeah. she was in the Buck Rogers uh, series. Yeah, she's way too. She should be older to be Jason's sister. Yeah, especially when there's like ten years between four and five, yeah. and ten years yeah. between six and seven, yeah. and God knows older. how many years between way seven and eight. Older, yeah, I so. yeah, I'm not sure which one this is supposed to take place after exactly. Eight, I assume. Who no. knows? I don't know. It's got it. It's almost as if this franchise so has bad Jason continuity. Just, so Jason's just it's not the worst fell. one. How did he leave Manhattan and go back to the camp? He walked. That's what I'm saying. It can't take place. Was there? They made a comic book about this. I wonder if the comic book explains <laughs> Probably. that. Probably. Um, Jason yeah, goes so, back to Crystal Lake. So Jason has a sister who also has a daughter who also has a baby. Yes. And the baby daddy is the star of Friday the 13th, the series. Yes. We and I, I, you know what? Right. I would love to know what. Sean from Movie Dumpster thinks about this crossover between Friday the 13th, the series, and the movie. If only Sh Joe Sean from Movie Dumpster was here right <laughs> now and tells us what he thought about putting a character from the show playing I someone else in the movie. Oh the my devil. god, Sean from Movie Dumpster! It's a horrible idea, don't do it. So, do you think- wait, 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 Sean from Movie Dumpster! How would you rank uh, Jason Goes to Hell the final Friday? I haven't watched it in like 10 years, so no opinion. <laughs> I remember it's not being very good. Creighton Duke's pretty cool. But you do know that Friday the 13th the series has nothing to do with the Friday the 13th I... movies. Yes. Okay, thank we've you, Sean, doing, for Movie Dumpster. We've been doing talks from the dark side, and you should know this. What a great cameo. <laughs> Yay! See, now Jason <laughs> Takes Manhattan should have had cameos like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> Wait a second. Somebody's getting paid yeah, for this. Yeah, I know. What? Oh. Just, there's something he's not telling us. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so the, the guy, and I thought he plays a good character here. He's trying to get back together with the girl. It was originally, like, in the original concept of this, it was supposed to be Tommy Jarvis. Yes, Ooh, but they couldn't do which that. Which was weird. Because yeah. they only had Jason. That would be Jason. really weird. For some reason, they only had Jason. Yeah, was it? I don't know. Yes. Like, what um, a shitty thing Paramount was like, okay, you can have Jason, but none of the other characters. Yeah. And he looks so young, though. The mm. dad, or the baby dad. Yeah. I thought he was the, he, that was the, another thing Marcus was talking about. Like, nobody in this movie is, is like a teenager. Everybody's like at least yeah. mid-20s like and weird, up. Yeah, it's yeah. like a weird thing, because then he picks up the teenagers. Well, I, well, oh, maybe it feels, yes, yeah, it and, feels so good, you know, to be and he doesn't, again. And he doesn't like join you, them. He's yeah, like, nah, she's like, want a skinny dip? And I'm like, wait, he, you guys are the same age. And that, they all look the same age. He's, I guess he's just supposed to be, older, supposed to be older, or he just looks good for his age. And by the way, this is the early 90s. He's wearing a fucking varsity a, jacket. I want to yeah, say, I want to say. Exactly, <laughs> at, the di at the diner, I legit Kavinsky? thought he was a kid. Yeah. I thought he was a kid. It's like, oh. She's saying about her younger daughter, mm -hmm. who I thought would have been maybe 15. Yeah. I, I do thought he say, was maybe 15. Yeah, That's and I thought it was like. the redhead, but it's not. Um, no. This is the early 90s. Yeah. That guy should still be worried about the AIDS epidemic because he throws the condom in the tent, but then somehow it makes it outside the tent. Even though the <laughs> tent is zippered up. <laughs> Figure that one out. Maybe she, maybe she took two and dropped one. That could be it too. Yeah. That could be it too. I don't think it's meant to be that, but no. that could be it too. Uh, but yeah, and then they get killed. So. They, yep. they were getting a little too comfortable. It's such a practice I, safe sex, guys. I, I cannot. <laughs> Don't actually, the best sex is no sex. Uh, be celibate like me. I'm very celibate by choice. I swear. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tinder and Facebook dating are still not working out. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> you need to go to Camp Crystal Lake, dude. There's, I really yeah. should. There's chicks that want to fuck all over that place. You know who's great in this? Rusty Schwimmer. Rusty Schwimmer's hilarious. I love Rusty oh, Schwimmer. Man. By the way, so she's the, the, the head of the diner here. making the yep. burgers. Yep. Apparently, the role was gender swapped. Like, she, that really? was supposed to be the man. But oh, yeah. when they no. got him on set, they're like, it'd be funnier if we swapped that these. Is, she that's is too funny. That always bothered me with the burger. Because, like, don't you put a bun on it? You You're fucking, not going to see it. You take out the eyes. It, look, it's a fucking Jason Boy. I guess you serve it open. Oh, an open oh, yeah, face hockey face? Open. Uh, open face yeah. hockey yeah. mask burger. Yeah. yeah. Give me a voice. But anyway. And some Jason fingers. Wait, uh, she's great scary. in this. I wish she was in it more. She gets she gets killed pretty gnarly. Her like jaw goes into oh, yeah. fucking face. He like hits her with an elbow and yeah. just like. 
Um, her husband looks like fucking Kenny Baker, by the way. <laughs> the guy who played R2-D2. A little bit, yeah. yeah. So when Jason takes over someone's body, uh, the previous body, like when he goes into someone new, the previous body like melts. And it's oh, fucking horrifying. They do it I one time. I love it. And it's awesome. Yeah. I love that By the way, so much. Mrs. Voorhees, holy shit, was she loaded? She had a fucking mansion? Yeah, she yeah. did. With the jungle gym from the birds, apparently, outside? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jason was living the life. They were loaded. Yeah. Elias was like, Why what, was like an oil the, baron or some shit? Why the fuck was she working at the summer camp? Exactly. I think because she's crazy and she was bored. So I did, guess. So did the daughter not inherit that house and inherit all that money? I don't know. Instead, she's working it's, it's at a diner? Texas Chainsaw. He, this man also wrote the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D. So yes. he, brought, he brings it back with the but, fucking mansion that nobody knew about. The, the, and then they're also reading from a book. Or was there not? They're not reading from the book. The, they the, have a book. The Necronomicon is just yeah, there. It's there. Yeah. It's, it's there. just Which there. I have a note. Um, I, it's either from Evil Dead 2 or Army of Dark. No, it's Evil Dead 2, I think. So I think um, Sam Raimi gave them the props, and the guy who made the props was like it's real. K it's K and B, yeah. But the guy who like made it was like Tom Sullivan was really upset that they used it for the movie. Oh no really? shit! And apparently, like Sam Raimi had to write like an apology letter to him. Oh, because he didn't know that they were going to be used because it's the dagger and shit. Oh, it's not the same dagger. Apparently, look it up. There's like a thing where they had to apologize. To him. Maybe the Necronomicon is up because yeah. like. <sighs> Again, well, it's implied that it's the, almost the same dagger. Well, kind of. It's yeah. also the thing where, like, Jason is canonically a deadite in this movie. Yes. And Sam Raimi loved that idea. Yeah. Yeah. I wish they played more. Well, they into explore that. that in the comics, right? Mm -hmm. The Freddy vs. Really? Jason. I, I think so. Well, yeah, yeah with Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash. I mean, yes. yeah, he would be a deadite, but I wish, I wish there was more. Of that. That's what happened. You think you think Elias was yes. on like a fur trapping uh, thing and fucking Nobi came over and was fucking Pam? Yeah. And he and he left it there and she was like, Oh yeah. And they and he was story. like, Look, I'm I'm decoding this. Henrietta uh never gives me blowjobs. <laughs> yeah. And then Jason Voorhees is born and he's yes. a deadite. Um but when the when the one reporter turns into Jason, he's just fucking people up. He kills Rusty Schwimmer. He like fucking uh, breaks the guy's arm and the bone pops yeah, out. I'm loving these. He kills. shoves the two cops together and splatters I their love heads. It. There's so much great gore in this. Yeah. Also, he yeah he took he took the uh, the Leatherface thing or Leatherface took that where yeah. he grabs the dude's hand and breaks it and the yeah. hand pops I love out. It. Yeah, he did that in the new one. Yeah. Okay. Um, I do have to say yeah. the thing going into the people's mouths. I could not stop thinking of the scenes in South Park where they shit out their mouth. That's exactly what it looked like to it me. Does. The, the exactly. demon worms in this look nothing like the one on the cover. No. It doesn't. It just looks I like will say, shitting out their mouth. I'm so happy. I was looking this up. People compared this to the movie The Hidden. I was just going to bring that and up. And I... I've never seen I, that. I watched the... I, I looked up clips from The Hidden, and it was one of those things where I'm like... Finally, I figured out what this movie was. Oh, dude, can we do the hidden, please? I fucking Probably, love yes. that. I movie. didn't realize that what Kyle McLaughlin was in it, and I'm looking at him right now. Yeah. So I looked up the clips for years. I've been wondering what the hell was that movie where there's a guy at like a podium, and at the end, a worm crawls out of his yeah. mouth. Because then, like, Team America made fun of it and stuff yeah. made fun of it, and I could not figure it out. I could never find what it was, and I'm looking it up. I'm like, they finally found it. <laughs> What's it's the, the hidden. hidden. About? The hidden about it. The hidden about. Yeah. The hidden <laughs> is about uh basically like this intergalactic alien uh uh killer. Right. And it's like this fucking slug thing that goes into people's mouths and like basically does what we're doing it's here. It's this movie. It's this movie. <laughs> but but I, with I, sexy Kyle McLaughlin. Right. Oh, but yeah. Mark but Marcus didn't real I think that was like a retrospectively looking at it and be like, yeah. oh yeah, it is kind of like the hidden. Yeah. But it wasn't you know, on purpose. I mean, you could also work it into the thing or invasion from the body snatchers sure. for being real technical. Oh, the fucking hidden is so good. Though. But I'm just glad I now I now I want to watch it again because that, that ending is always stuck with me. And I'm like, what is this movie? It's the same director as uh, uh, Nightmare 2. Really? And you interviewed him. I interviewed him. Yeah, I kept telling you the hidden. And you're like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I love you, man. That movie's great, I guess. <laughs> he did an, he, they showed it in 35 at the Mahoning, and he, he did an intro for it. Oh, man. That's awesome. cool. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, and remember, if you want to watch the Wishmaster 2 episode yes. where I interviewed the director <laughs> of Nightmare in Elm Street 2, you got to go to Odyssey or use a VPN. Sorry. So, yeah, the whole thing is like uh, Jason's sister dies, and the, the 
daughter comes back. He kills her. Yes, and then the the reporter has a plan to leave the body there, and they're going to film it and make it look like Jason's alive. The verbatim line is yeah. like, yeah, I stole the body from the morgue, and I stuck her in the fucking closet. And then I went home and fucked a daughter. daughter. Yes. yes! And I'm like, you piece of shit. But, but then he gets killed by Jason, who's there, yep. in the cop's body. Yep. Yep. Jason, then, who I assume was listening. Yeah. Because then later on, you know, our characters are teaming up, and eventually gets down to Creighton Duke. He gets them together. He's like, only you can kill him with this magic dagger and the knife. And he can only come back the through. The magic a, dagger. It's great. He's like, you can only come back through a Voorhees. And you he, he be says. Born by Voorhees or killed by a Voorhees. And he, it's implying it's either her or her daughter. But then at the end, so the demon worm comes out of the other cop. And it's a tiny baby demon worm. Because he was like mid-transformation and they fucked it up. Because he was going to like puke yeah. it like Vigo style. By the way, there's a full grown version of that worm that you can look up pictures for, but it never made it into the oh, film. Oh, really? really? Yeah. I love this shot, dude. Again, K and B, this the fucking cop's head like falls off and this thing crawls out of yeah. his yeah. neck. It's awesome. Real quick. Jason Voorhees throughout this whole movie yeah. is possessed in other people yeah. and he's always just Jason Voorhees. Yes. In this particular scene, they do that fucking fake out thing where it's yeah, like, yep. you never know who's Jason Voorhees. Get Nobody, away from Don't her. trust him. Kill them both. Kill them both. Yeah. Jason Voorhees speaks through this guy and he's like, get away from her dad from Critters or whatever. Yeah. Get the hell away from her, Ed. And he's fucking Jason Voorhees. Yeah. Stupid. Well, he knows how to like talk. That. Remember the last uh, movie? He said, mommy, help me. Oh. Right. Yeah, he did say that. Yeah. <laughs> you got me. Say. You got me. He did say that. But so also you it was saw, just a dumb fake Okay, out. so when they look in the mirror, though, you see Jason. Oh, There's that's a one? great part of that. Oh, God, that. that scene is so stupid. Dude, it's fucking cool. But did they realize when they look into the mirror, they're like, oh, shit. Is Jason's possessed me or is it, oh, shit? Because it looks like a, like a bit of shock. Well, Jason also sees himself. So is he just shocked that he sees himself? Jason I, really likes that hockey mask. He does, doesn't he? It's not even like he sees his true self. He sees him in the hockey yeah, well, mask. Then he comes yeah. out fully clothed. <laughs> okay, all right. So, okay, okay, yeah. so randomly, Creighton Duke, who's just making up fucking rules as this movie's going <laughs> okay, on. Okay, wait, you yeah. gotta do it on a full moon. And then the, he's yeah. like, he's like, wait a minute. Does the Voorhees have to be alive? And he goes, no. I don't and know. And then we see the little demon worm go into her crotch. So it freaked me out as a kid. That what is, the big yeah, demon worm that's showing girl. up? The one that they didn't use. Huh. Huh. I think, you know, when they hear that fucking noise in the basement, it's like, Wah! does she maybe, like maybe her maybe, body turn into the demon worm and then back into Jason? Well, it could be, or like something like in Demons 2, where like that full grown demon like bursts out of that woman. Maybe. Um, I don't know. And then like then turns into Jason. All I know is that there is a makeup shot of the full grown demon worm, yeah. not the other demon that got cut out, sure. which we're getting into. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, yeah. So Jason knew she was down there. Uh huh. Well,. He gets tossed down there, and then he finds it. No, 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 because he heard everything the reporter said when he killed him. That it was in the closet. The, yeah. The body get, falls down into the basement by accident because dude Cause breaks was... the thing in the closet, yeah. the floor. But Jason knew she was in the house. Why didn't he automatically go to the to her, is what you're saying? Oh, yeah. Because That's he, funny. yeah, he goes and then leaves, because he wants the baby. Why? If he's the goal is just to get his body Dude, back. I don't know. It's like it's a bad movie. Uh, <laughs> but so it's, good. It's not. It, you know, it's not stitched up perfectly, but yes. it's fun. It's, so we yeah. get the ultimate fight scene between Jason, who comes back. It's probably because they know they're not going to kill the baby. Well, by the that way, has to be maybe. it. I think they wrote themselves into a corner. They're like, well, you we can't kill the final girl. And it's like, oh, and we can't kill the baby. Oh. Oh shit! But we killed the mom. Uh, it goes up the dead mom's the crotch. It's uh, also more impactful. Who's still wearing? By the way. She well, Still she died. The waitress out. She died in that. Yeah, and, but they took her to the morgue. They don't. Un they, they undress didn't. you at the morgue. Yeah, but maybe she didn't go through processing or yeah. or autopsy yet. Or something. how the reporter steal the body? <laughs> like, could you see him like over his shoulder? Like, <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be great. Just walking out, no problem. Anyway, uh, the guy from Hardcore there from Predator yeah. Two. He's like, where'd the body go? We Warren don't know. Downey Jr. There you go. Who kicked my friend Lloyd Kaufman off his show? Oh. <laughs> I played footage of that when I had Lloyd here. Um, That's funny that that guy kicked Lloyd Kaufman. Off. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he came. He comes out fully dressed with all his scars and stuff. I guess you just come back exactly how you died. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It's a Kandarian demon thing. I don't know. Yes. Uh, and then he fights her. They ki they kick the Creighton Duke dies. Yeah, because yeah. he, he like, like he's crushed. like a distraction and he like bear hugs him. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what he does. The remember me. 
And I'm a yep. mean motherfucker. I don't even think it's in the unrated cut, but we'll find out. I'm pretty sure. And if I will not- say, surely in the theatrical cut, you'd be like, no, th- I've seen all seven of these movies. He never met you, Creighton. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's never in the others. Yeah, who the hell are you? Oh, oh he's, he's oh. Miguel Nunez's little brother. There you go. <laughs> But I do love his Stitched lines up. and his character, even like in the jail when he's explaining everything and breaking the fingers. Like he, yeah. that's a great scene. I love that yeah. scene. I don't, I don't know if it makes sense, but it's a great scene. No, it's it not doesn't... so great is the guy jumping to get out of his cuffs. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I do like the wacky scene where it's like, I got a gun. I got a gun. Yep. Um. But yeah, Jason gets. Uh, he gets stabbed in the heart. I like when she's like she's like has to reach around, but they never say like how to stab him. He just needs to be. Because I think it's in the even... heart, but it doesn't go all the way in. That's why she's like yeah. kicking yeah. him. Yeah, I love the fire coming out of his face when she's kicking him. Man, I, or or he's getting the shit punched out of him. Yeah, and it's like lighting up. And again, those light effects look really cool. And then like he it. gets pulled down. Uh, the heavenly light shines on him, and the fucking rock <laughs> yep. biter hands from the never ending story yeah, giant come out and grab him. Mm-hmm. Rubber hands grab him and pull yes. him down. To hell. Uh, do they show it on the back? Oh, they don't show it on the back. I think it's on the other one. On the show. other one. The, I know what you're talking about. The extended cut, there's like this antler horn demon that comes and grabs him mm-hmm. and what? brings him down to hell. Yeah. That would be cool to see. It, but it said cool. they did rubber hands. I don't know why they chose to do that. Do you know why? They I changed no it? No fucking idea. Uh, you think they would fix it and make it a little bit more interesting for the unrated cut? It, it looks like, yeah, it looks like an afterthought, like the yeah. hands. But they, again, this, like, that's this, fucking hokey. This mm-hmm. all feels very Friday the 13th with the over the top effects, of, like the big hands. I wanted, I, not I, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. This yeah. feels, that's why I said this is like, this feels more it's, like a Nightmare on Elm Street spin off than it does a sequel. It's fully supernatural at this point. Yeah. Yeah. And I wanted, I just wanted to mention this, like, I miss when shit like this happened with like the crazy like roto light effects and yes. stuff like the end of Rawhead Rex or the end of uh, Ernest Scared Stupid yeah. where there's like some magic weapon and they get stabbed and all this fucking crazy colors yeah. and shit fly yeah. out of them and so, I don't know I so love this it this is more like a um, you take Evil Dead or mm. you add a little bit of like a sprinkle of Evil Dead on some Nightmare on Elm Street and you throw yeah. Jason in it yeah yes. that's what oh, this is did you catch the Arctic Expedition crate in the basement yes <laughs> the crate from Creep, Creep Show's Show. in there yeah. with the crate monster Mar- Marcus I missed yeah. that. Marcus yeah. spread like a bunch of stuff across this. So that I mean, that's bas- basically what it was. How many so continuities big, is this in? It's a big love letter. <laughs> it's just it just doesn't feel very Jason. That's the problem. I don't think it was supposed to. It's no. a love letter to every other horror film. It does feel Friday the 13th though. In the beginning, mm, even even later, mm. I would argue. Mm. Where specifically? When he, you know, when he's stalking people and killing them and stuff. I yeah. guess he he does stalk. Yeah. I mean, what? Could, because it's not the visage of Jason? I guess, yeah. You know what I mean? I guess maybe it feels like the early ones him. where they don't show Jason a lot. I guess you could claim that. I, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, if you just took Dude out and put a J- put Jason in, yeah. the, again, the whole point was to take the mask away. Yes. Do I agree with that? Not really. No, and uh, neither did audiences or yeah. fans because it didn't do very well. No. <laughs> uh, but it leaves you on that cliffhanger. Oh my God. With the Freddy Krueger glove <laughs> Freddy coming Krueger and glove. grabbing the mask down to go to hell. And it's like, well, now they gotta do it. The next one's yeah. gotta be Freddy Even Rich if Jason. it bombed, they still gotta do it. Because yeah. remember lately, uh, which got Godzilla King of the Monsters like really underperformed, but they're like, nah, we're committed. We're doing Godzilla versus <laughs> Kong anyway. Fuck it. It'll, it'll, it, yeah, but it's the kind of thing where like, it might not make money immediately, yeah. but in the long run, it'll yeah. make a lot. Uh, so yeah, New Line has both properties. Yep. Everyone wants to do it. Kane Hodder wants to do it. Robert Englund wants to do it. The, for some reason, they can't get a script together. And when you see the final product, it's like, wow, was it that hard to write a script for this? I don't, Ronnie, you did a really good job on that yeah. movie. Like, I, I The only problem I have with that film is just it came a little too late. That should have been 90s, late 80s, early 90s at the highlight. I think like the charm of like the charms missing yeah. that I want on that. Like yeah. I want that 80 stink on it. Yeah. And it's very like 2000s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like I still but, think but Rocky fine. 2000s I've stuff. only seen bits and pieces of it. I've never sat down to watch that. Jason X, I've only seen bits and pieces. I think all the other ones, well, I've only seen bits and pieces of. There we go. Of. There we go. So in between these movies, yeah. they do uh, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Yep. No, I figured that one. Which uh, me and Clayton did a video on. That'll be on his channel. 
Was that nice. that was like ninety six? Yes, or ninety. It was around that time. Yeah, yeah. See, really I good love movie. Yeah. Nightmare. It's a great. Yeah, I've seen all the nightmares. They're great. I thought I was gonna see. So hold on. You good? No, I'm good. I'm good. All right. So yes, and then you know a couple more years go by. Robert Englund's going around being like, "Yeah, we're making it at some point. It's coming." Mm-hmm. Kane Hodder's going around being like, it's coming. They're taking pictures together. It's coming. And then I guess around 2001 or 2002, they're like, well, fuck. Um, Jason in space. This will hold you over until we do Freddy versus Jason. And then eventually we got Freddy versus Jason. And that's what we will do next time. Next Friday the 13th, we will be doing Jason X. Yes. Freddy versus Jason and the reboot Remake. remake of Friday the 13th. Of the first four movies in one movie. Yes, and also <laughs> if, if if you go by the shitty continuity, it could just be a sequel. It could. Anyway, be. <laughs> all right. That is it from us. Out of the Woo! three, what was your favorite? Out of the three, what is the worst? Manhattan. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's I'll go with e- that. I'll go with that. That's the easier question. Um, it's more like what? What are you going for? I mean, for? new new blood is like classic it's Friday 13th y- yeah whereas yeah. whereas Jason goes to hell is like this completely wackadoo fucking story which works for me and the mm. and the effects and the gore are so fucking good in that movie yeah um and I, I think I think goes to hell might win out just a little bit only because of how sanitized new blood is yes yeah which is the movie's fault no, it's not the movie's um, fault. I think but. New Blood might be my favorite because it like it's trying to do something yeah. different with the carry thing, as dumb as it is. But it also but still, it still f- feels like a Friday the mm-hmm. 13th. Um, whereas Jason Goes to Hell, this feels more of just a spinoff of Nightmare on Elm Street, yes. which it yeah. technically was. But well, to more... make sense to lead into yes. Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah, I had more fun watching Jason Goes to Hell, to be honest. Like, that, I'd I, see that. Yeah, I'd I definitely, that. I would say, yeah, I definitely had more fun watching Jason Goes to Hell than the other two. If you're just seeing these in full for, like, the first time ever, yeah. I can see that. But, like, growing up watching them kind of, like, here and there, and then when you finally watch them, like in order, like when I finally got a chance to watch them in order, mm-hmm. by the time you get to Jason explain goes, everything. when you get to Jason goes hell, you're like, what the fuck is this? This is so stupid. Then you see, then you see that, and then you watch Jason next, and you're like, oh, well, fuck someone me. else on the show who's not on the current panel, they will be on the episode yes. for that, and they will highly disagree with you on I that know. film. For yeah. some- jo- uh, Johanna uh, loves she, Jason. She X. loves Jason. X. <laughs> Don't worry. If I'm not on that one, I will definitely be in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, uh, we hope you have a great Friday the 13th. Yeah. Joe, where can we find you? You can find me at moviedumpsterpodcast.com. Wherever you get your podcast, we're on uh, YouTube. Mm-hmm. Search Movie Dumpster. We're there. Nice. Tony's been on a bunch of stuff. Um, we actually have an adjacent uh, little Kane Hodder. Adjacent? Adjacent. adjacent. Cha, 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 cha. An adjacent movie with Kane Hodder. Uh, we're doing Metal Beast, Project Metal Beast. Oh, cool. Uh, oh. Where he plays the uh, the uh, mutated uh, bio werewolf in that. So uh, oh, that sounds oh, check it out soon. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, Crystal, you can find her in the sewers of New York right before the toxic waste gets in. You got to catch her at exactly <laughs> between like nine thirty and nine ten, or nine or like nine thirty and ten. Yes. Yeah. Because at ten, that's when the toxic waste comes in. And then what? I live in the toxic waste though. Yes, That's, yes. So you can I go am there. Toxic waste. Um, she, you could probably if you need if you need help in New York, uh, and you run into a diner, she'll just be smoking and ignoring you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll have a drink. Don't worry. And sometimes she's in New Jersey. And by the way, I can't believe you take a cruise ship to get to PA I do, I all do. the time. It's incredible. Yeah. You take that fucking secret water away, right? I take right? it everywhere. Yeah. I take it here. I take it to New York. Mm-hmm. I take it everywhere. I just I keep telling it's you. It's a magic cruise bus. Yeah. I'm like, I keep telling you, Crystal, it's way easier to just drive and get the train. You got to like pull into the harbor and everything. It's a whole, it's a, it's it's a, a hassle. It's but a you thing. do you. It's a nice ride. <laughs> you do you, I guess. Uh, yes, and please like, share, and subscribe. Join our Patreon. Yeah. Uh, call our voicemail line and uh, leave yeah. reviews on the podcast on yeah. Spotify, on Apple Podcasts. Yes. That's how you get we uh, can get more people, and that's how we can grow this channel. Is yes, the more and, uh, and more reviews. Share this episode or this show with a friend or an enemy. Spread the love. Yes, yeah, or yeah. hate. If you really hate someone, make you them know watch use this. reverse psychology. Yeah. Send this to someone. And be like, these guys are fucking idiots. You should watch it <laughs> all mean, in full and don't time. skip any of the ads. Like, I, do that. <laughs> and then that person will be like, 
They'll either be like, well, this show was actually good, or they'll be like, yeah, these guys suck. You yeah, watch yeah, more of their stuff, and then just keep watching. Make sure you keep watching it, though. <laughs> hate watch the shit out of this show. Yeah. I think a lot of and people already down. do hate the shit watch us. Are you kidding me? Anyway, I gotta it go. It makes them feel a lot better about themselves. Hey, that's fun. <laughs> I gotta go to my cousin's wedding now. You can wear the mask again, right? Yeah. Her uh, engagement photos, they did a Jason Oh, did thing. they really? That's yeah. awesome. My sister mm. did. I wore this at my sister's wedding. Yeah. <laughs> I know you did. That's awesome. Yeah, one last note. So you know how like at weddings when they bring the grooms or bridesmaid out at the reception, everyone dresses wacky? I mean, you mean like Depends if they have props? The they wear like shit. funny hats yeah, 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 and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I was told. So I was like, all right, I'll bring the Jason mask. They didn't do the wacky dress thing. Aww. So I just look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I thought it was cool. You're the no, coolest, I was cool Tony. Too. I do love the picture of me in the mask behind yeah. them. <laughs> that is really cool. Uh, yeah, so that is it from us. Happy Friday the 13th. Happy Friday the 13th. <laughs> I think Capcom does a great job when they're adding like collaboration characters. What? <laughs> I've never been able to extend this way. <laughs> oh god, I gotta get the helmet on. Oh god, oh god. Wait a minute, our guy's a bad guy the whole time. I just think it's crazy that I'm better at video games now than when I was like 16. That is how you fix all the problems with all these games. I feel like toy distribution is so different than it used to be. They re-sculpted over the chest. They gave him a flak jacket over it. I laugh when I see Among Us, but I'm not having fun inside. I'm just, <laughs> it's a reflex. No, you took my job! <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talking, talking about tapes.